Welcome everyone to episode 119 of the Valcast Podcast. I'm your host, Caleb Payne, joined by the human calculator himself, Edicor. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, so I chuckled a little bit there, I was trying to like, keep it together because I was like, in my head, I read you the joke. <laughs> You know, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm uh, I'm surprised and appalled at how much that has caught on in just a week. Uh, like, <laughs> hey, you know, you, you were you're one of the uh, you know part of the mob before, you know, roasting Speedy's chief and stuff on the beard and everything, and uh, now uh, you've you've yeah, taken on the mantle, right? So that's true. That is true. Yeah. Do you, uh, do you know what? I'm uh, maybe maybe this is for the. Maybe this is some something for the future. Uh, it's true. It's true. Human calculator. Uh, Human calculator. Yeah. 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 But one thing we did calculate last week. Yeah. Is that people like the longer episodes. <laughs> yes, they do. Yes, they do. It just depends on as the night goes on. Uh, and of course, math gets worse. So you know, maybe we save the math problems earlier. We're, yeah. Yeah. We're, no, we're avoiding all maths today because today is also a bit later than usual. Yeah, it's like Man, you are, I did not realize you were a morning person, but Bruh. you're you're a morning person. It's only what seven thirty your time? Nine thirty, bro. Nine thirty? Oh, okay. 930, oh man, yeah, yeah. The, the the delusional thoughts are start, <laughs> going to start setting in soon. I can't wait. You know, those, you that's when those, it gets good. That's when the content. You know the ones where like, you know when like someone wakes up in the middle of the night, right? Yeah, and they're like they're just conscious enough where they maybe like look at you or something. And you have like a five second conversation, 10 second conversation. They go back to sleep okay. and then they don't remember any of it. Yeah. Have you ever been in that situation? Uh, you're talking about me as the talker oh, have, or have the you listener? Like, I thought you said stalker. Have you, have you like witnessed no, it? No, no. <laughs> um, yeah, probably. That's, that's, like especially in college and stuff. Yeah. yeah. So that's like obviously extreme version, right? So right. like... You know, when you get a bit tired, it's sort of like, you know, on the cusp of that. Do you know what I mean? And, you know, yeah, sometimes if you're sleep the words deprived just enough, come out. And like, if you're sleep deprived yeah. enough, it mimics the uh, effects of alcohol intoxication, actually. So there you go. There you so go. that's why it's illegal to drive when you're like certain so level, sleepy. Level, level tiredness. Yeah. 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 It could be it could be bad. I don't know how they measure that, but. Uh, I don't know. If you fall asleep at the wheel and crash, I mean, that's, well, that's yeah, pretty yeah, good I mean... indicator. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, maybe you like you could potentially fail, I guess, the same sobriety test outside the breathalyzer. I, I oh, know. what? Like not walking in a line? Yeah, <laughs> like walking <laughs> falling line asleep or whatever. Yeah, people. yeah, or like stumbling. I don't know. Yeah, fair enough. Anyone that's uh, the cop that knows this more, that's a listener, feel free to correct us. But <laughs> we are on uh, episode 119. And, mm-hmm. you know, a little funny fact before we started, too. And, of course, typically runs into some audio issues and stuff. And he told me that in a past life, he used to be a audio technician or something. The sound or engineer, sound, yeah. yeah. Sound yeah. engineer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I said emphasis yeah, on the yeah. used to, I guess. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Keep on but I see... Sound issues, you know? Yeah, but, you got you know a what? new fancy mic, though, which I'm gonna does say, sound pretty I'm good. Gonna yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, that yeah. mic looks... So for those that are in YouTube version, they know. But for the audio listeners, he's got like the mic that... Like, it just looks like a professional singing mic, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so a bit of back history on this mic. So... yeah. Um, years ago, maybe like five, six years ago, I had an amazing idea to make, uh, an ASMR YouTube channel. Yeah. Now I'm not oh. going to go into, yeah. Cause I think I've told you this before. I'm okay. I'm not going to go into no, exactly. I did not tell me this part. No, no way. Oh, you need know. to send oh, me the okay. links. <laughs> no, I didn't make it. That's why. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Had, like, so videos yeah, yeah. Nah, 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 nah. So, so you basically I, um, I, uh, um, I, yeah, I, w- I won't say exactly what the ASMR was revolving around um wait why not, that's that not because, the less no, you say the more sketches yeah, out. I, I know i know i know <laughs> but but i think it was such a good idea yeah that you never know yeah if if asmr makes like another little sort of like resurgence into pop culture then i may dive it's into it it's still good so it's to, still good right now i know but it's like it's not necessarily like super mainstream right it's like people who are into it or like people who have gotten used to it you know but i don't know how much how many like oh look new, i'm I think you're just not tuned it, into the ASMR it, space. I just maybe, Googled, maybe, I just maybe. YouTubed ASMR, right? Yeah. First thing that shows up, one video from a day ago, right? Yeah, many, from this person videos? named Eda Fox. Okay. Uh, she looks like she's just like playing with her nails or something. Okay. She's just like showing her nails off. 185,000 views. 
one day ago. Yeah, that's kind of messed right. <laughs> Gibby M- ASMR, right? She's Another my day favorite. ago. Oh my days, she's my. Oh favorite. really? Yeah, yeah. One day ago, posted three hundred sixteen view, a uh, thousand views. Yeah, but she's huge. I was actually gonna do like a little um right. on the intro. I was gonna do a little like like a little I mean, yeah. Uh, she's she's GBA big, but that means that there's the audience is there. She has four point yeah. eight million subscribers. Yeah, that's mad. Okay, but how about I, this? I was listening DM, to it DM, DM me the AS, DS, DM me the ASMR video idea. Okay. okay after. Okay. okay, yeah, okay actually, okay. you can DM to me. DM to me now. DM to me now. I'm curious. <laughs> I'm curious. I can't wait. I, I, I can't I, wait. I, I don't think anyone wants to hear my ASMR, but. <laughs> okay. There was uh, I was watching one ASMR video. It was uh, a barber. It was shaving this guy's head, right? Like, you know, to the scalp. And I was like, I can see the ASMR part of it, right? Yeah. It's like lathering up, shaving, all the sounds. And then when he's squirting out the uh, shaving cream, it made like a weird like squirt fart sound. And the guy that's getting his head shaved started laughing, right? <laughs> and he's like, the other guy's like, the barber's like, shh. Right, and he's trying to stifle it, but you know how sometimes when you try to stifle your laugh, it gets funnier by the time yeah. by the second, right? So this guy's like s- sweating and like choking up, trying to keep it in, and it's like it just it just turns. I just start laughing, right? And for like a solid thirty seconds, he's trying not to laugh, and just gets worse and worse. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Yeah. So at, at the time, particularly, yeah, it would have like it would have. Are banged, you a collector yeah? of these things too? Uh, I used to be. Because you well, had two different I, I audiences. Yeah, I did, I did. Exactly. That was the point, you know. So I didn't used to be a collector that much, but I used to be, I used to work in that industry. Yeah. So I used to have access to like uh, loads of things. Yeah. And it was literally, I was just like, well, people watch, you know, videos of this normally. Yeah. You just cross it into <laughs> ASMR. So no like, one's going to know yeah, what that you're yeah, talking know, about besides I me. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Everyone's so frustrated, yeah, well, man. Yeah. <laughs> you're already, you're already becoming like, the least like co-host of the podcast, right? You know how people hey, brought hey. out pitchforks for speeding out shaving his beard, right? <laughs> yeah. Like the mob was against this guy, right? And he came to me, he's like, okay, I'm like, 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 you know, they're coming after me. I'm like, yeah, what you want me to do, right? Like, I, I, I didn't agree to do this, right? Like, you agreed to shave on a certain day. I can't say nothing, right? Like, <laughs> this, this is about you're about to be, uh, yeah, I mean, you're about to be, uh, the, do you know what? The, yeah. the other end the pitchfork soon. <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to like preserve my potential future career. Do you know what I mean, in it, yeah. I feel like people can understand this, right? Yeah, you know I mean, I, I mean. The thing is, why not start now? What what's like what better time uh, than now? It's true. It's true. Especially well, okay. for content creation, right? For those that yeah. like try trying to start a podcast as well. Like the lot of people are like, oh, should I start a podcast? I'm like, why not? Like just yeah. start it, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, what's the worst that can happen? Right? Yeah. But well, I'll probably find like a slightly different take on it. Cause like I said, I don't okay. do like, you know, that sort of stuff. But for the listeners at home, yeah. Let me know. How how good's my ASMR voice? Yeah. So okay. Hey, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm laughing because so, so, I'm sorry if my laugh was too abrupt and like scared you, right? Like the listeners. But so so those that are watching the YouTube version, they can see this, but the audio listeners, so and of course like wiggling his fingers around the mic. <laughs> but you don't know, like but you can't hear it. Like I think they're supposed to tap the mic briefly, right? Like you can't you just, just hover your fingers around without making any sound. What's the look, point? Look, look, it's the sound of a little shh. You can no? barely hear. It. Okay, I can maybe hear a little. Yeah, bit. yeah. This, this, this is an ASMR, you know. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. Future oh career. My future gosh. career. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I bought this, yeah, because I was gonna make an ASMR channel, but I was like working too much at the time, so I never really, uh, I never ended up doing it. Um, but, that was pretty good, yeah. though. You, you had a. Um, it was uh the voice was was. There it was at one point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel like a lot of the ASMR. They typically are like attractive women that do it. I know. I so know, that is that is I, definitely I, one I know. you know. Yeah, but I, I know. you you could yeah. be you could be entering a niche market. You know, maybe there is this a is lack the of English men doing maybe, ASMR, maybe, yeah. or maybe there are like a thousand English men that try <laughs> ASMR that fails before you. You know, they all thought the same true. thing. <laughs> I have seen I have seen an ASMR video of an old guy, old white dude, mm-hmm. who was eating a honeycomb. Wow. And you know, I've seen like attractive women eating honeycomb for ASMR yeah, yeah, yeah. and like whatever, right? But there are a lot of people watching this old man eating honeycomb. 
There you go. There you go. You know. And so, maybe I just you know do little like TikToks. You know. No. Yeah, TikToks is way. TikToks away. Yeah. yeah, you should. Wow, it's crazy though. Imagine that's your life. You do yeah. ASMR. I'm it's, not gonna lie. Honestly, it's, it's, it's probably a lot. It's probably a lot more work than we expect, right? A lot of people yeah, are like, yeah, oh, yeah. it's gotta be, like, it's gotta be so easy making money as a streamer or a TikTok or whatever. I'm like, dude, have you seen TikTokers? Like the pl- I- I've yeah. tried making TikToks. The plan that goes into it, and you have to have that constant. I'm creating content mm-hmm. mindset, right? Like you can't just like go in and like it's 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 stressful, right? And streamers too, full time yeah. streamer. I mean, I'm not really like full time. I'm a full time content creator, but not really a streamer, but like. But like the full time streamers that stream every single day, like you have to plan on your streams. You can't just sit there and play like yeah. like Farmville like every day and just hope <laughs> that you rake in the big bucks, right? You have to be entertaining, you have to have good content. Like true, you know, if you're like, say what you want about well, like, people like XQC like, or whatever, like it's not easy getting to that hmm. spot, right, in your career. Yeah. And have you seen like um tube girls? No. I think tube I think girls? it's like a TikTok trend where it's basically it's like a um not not calling out um people so like uh in london the tube is the the underground trains right um and you had some people who would like record tiktoks on the trains and everyone's like well aren't you embarrassed you're like literally in you know broad public <laughs> yeah like yeah. in the middle of people and you're just doing all you, these like really weird have social stuff, anxiety you know? doing this stuff. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so then it became a trend where people were like has, like doing like tube girls where they were like deliberately making tiktoks in these really brash public settings uh, being like i have no shame and then i saw i flipped i can't I saw do that I, I can't do that bruv it was this teacher yeah. yeah or like this lecturer doing one on her first lecture of uni she has like a thousand students no, behind her shot. and then she's doing this this shit in front of him and i'm just like bruv. <laughs> like was she, no she, thing, she yeah, like tiktok also, famous too on top of that or she she I hasn't know, i don't know I, like I, does I, she I, have I, a tiktok before doing that because, like, what's the point of doing all that stuff if you don't even have a following? Like, <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. It's just like, like, you get one viral, maybe yeah, you got yeah. one viral clip, like you saw it, right? Yeah. I, but that's the thing. Having one viral TikTok or two viral TikTok, whatever, is mm. way easier than having consistent yeah, high viewership yeah, content yeah. on TikTok and platforms, yeah. right? You can have these one off, like, t- things, but it's hard to build that consistency. And the thing is, mm. you really can't monetize the one viral clip or one viral video, yeah. right? It's not actually going to do that much for you, especially because if, that's your one thing that you probably aren't really, you might not even be monetizing before it even, even happened. But even if you do, it's not really much. Like you can't really live off of that. You know, it, it's it's funny too, because that happens on like YouTube as well. You know, someone that has like a very like hot, like first video on, hmm. for Pokemon Go that you probably won't guess. Guess someone. So they don't really stream anymore, but they used to stream and they, they make some uh, YouTube videos. And do they make YouTube at the moment? No, they don't. They don't really make the content more, but they made one video. I would never guess. I'm not gonna lie. Who, who, who? Uh, let me start, try to find the video for you. Ah, uh, here we go. Um, okay, it has less views than I thought it did. I thought it had like over like 200k or something. Stylab churn. What? He has a YouTube channel. He only has like seven videos. <laughs> so on he's it. got like, yeah. and the last one he made was two years ago. The last one he made was two years no. ago. But the first video he ever posted is I got to world rank number one with this team, and it has it was his first video ever. It has seventy five thousand views. It's pretty good. Wow. That's actually pretty. Impressive. All his other videos combined don't have that much, right? <laughs> you know. So, but you know what? I feel like um, did he release that around the time when it was like. He was basically the best player in the world. He was like consistently. Not really. This is like when know. he started out. It was like three years oh. ago, April 14, 2020. So it was only a few months after Go Battle League. Mm. It was like right okay. when Leaderboards dropped. That's That might be why. Because Leaderboards first dropped ever in Pokemon Go during season one. This was season oh. one rankings. Okay. Yeah, it was during Master League. I do mm. remember that. I remember the ranking dropping somewhere around, like it dropped mid season, I think. It's somewhere around Master League time. Because uh, I remember I climbed with like a Shadow Bonnet or something too. Um, Bruv, I've heard about it. I, I wasn't playing around hit, the, that time yeah. to like actually see that. Yeah, but I said Shadow Bennett, you know. Oh, you weren't playing back then. So nah, yeah, this Go Battle like, dropped weird. around. Go Battle dropped around January, hmm. a January I think, or February of 2020. Okay, so it was only yeah. a couple months. It was right after preseason, and we're going into season one. Yeah, so he was just starting to like 
get good, I guess. I haven't I haven't watched that video in forever, but I'm sure if we watch it, there'll be some like, you know, mechanical More stuff like a, that he can work yeah. on. But you know, that was when he started PvP as well, too, right? So mm-hmm. he's only probably a few months in at that point. because uh, I don't think he did soap before that, but yeah. Anyway, we we're on a tangents on on Tom's <laughs> tangents. He's got a new mic, right? This is what I'm. That's why I wanted to say. Anyway, let's uh mic. let's get into these YouTube comments because uh, uh, this is turning go. into a three hour uh, <laughs> podcast already at this rate. Yeah. Um, so from last episode, DH Con says to clarify a few things. I don't live in Japan, but I spend time between Japan, New York, and Nashville. I bought. I brought up the traveling for Pokemon part because Caleb mentioned how low participation in NA events is an uphill battle, I think, to get high turnout. Relatively few folks travel for Pokemon and fewer travel for PvP. Also, the dust count was 109 million. I'm relatively nice. late to that benchmark as most of my peers are well over what they consider base. So, I mean, peers, right? So, obviously, DHCon hangs out with people that grind more Sardis than yeah. Anacor does. Uh, the issue kind of also says, short update, <laughs> I mean, there's uh, these past hard, few right? events. <laughs> yeah. These past few events have been good for PvP. I have a Catch Cup, Bible, Metacham, Carbink, Lickitung, Onyx. Good sign of accessibility for more casual players. Yeah. No, I agree with you 100%. If you live in, uh, spend time between Japan, New York, and Nashville, there aren't really any Northeast tournaments, honestly, this this season for, for NA, except for Pittsburgh that already happened. But... They have a Knoxville tournament, Knoxville, Tennessee, which probably isn't too far from Nashville, Tennessee. Um, and they also have one in, I think they have a Charlotte one again this year, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, uh, hopefully those won't be much of a travel for you. Like maybe just a drive if you're able to make it to those. I don't know what your schedule looks like. But the fact that you live in North America means going to these tournaments will probably hopefully be a little bit easier. So I, I wish you the best if you do attend in. Hey, if I'm there as a commentator or a battler, Come find me. <laughs> yeah, come find me. That's the thing, too. Also, anyone that, like, listens to po- this podcast or, you know, watches content, stuff like that, um, please always feel, like, I don't mind when people come up and, you know, a lot of people actually come up with scroll trapper jokes, right? But <laughs> but come up and introduce yourself, say you like to listen to podcasts. But, I like, if you can, please just say your name, right? Especially if it's, like, a if you're, like, a frequent commenter because we don't know what you look like, right? We don't know what most of these people... I, I think, like, over time, like, I know you know yeah. what a lot of people look like yeah. but especially if you're like not battling on stream a lot or whatever or like at these tournaments um you know there's a good chance i don't know what you look like feel free to just introduce yourselves right so that way um we know too um but yeah it's always it's always exciting to meet people that like listen to the podcast too because i don't know me personally i don't know why people listen <laughs> but <laughs> you know it is, i'm glad that people enjoy it uh <laughs> RC Cola says, nice to see Caleb get cooked at local finally. Berto won this round for sure, but looking forward to Sacramento and next month's local. Two more opportunities to dunk on Caleb again. All jokes aside, glad you came out. Yeah, no, for sure. Oh, shoot. I, I just remember I had to send him a picture from a so He gave me a silk badge thing and he asked for a picture like over a week Sick. ago. <laughs> yeah, I just remember I got to send him one. Um, Justin Daniel says, I love the length. I have a long drive to work and I save it for the drive. Makes it go faster and brings good laughs and thoughts. Yeah, I was listening to our episode last time while driving. Uh-huh. And when it came to the when it came to the the math part, right? The calculator <laughs> part. <laughs> Yeah. I'm I'm glad I couldn't see your face because it's definitely way funnier if you're watching the video version where you see like <laughs> yeah, Anacor yeah. laughing like like sh- like shy away in shame right and everything right uh, it's still funny but because I was driving I was like man I can't be laughing this hard while driving <laughs> so I I edited that clip for like to promote the episode I posted on my like Twitter and everything mm-hmm. a short version of it and I kid you not I was crying while editing this clip like I was still laughing and I don't know if it's just me maybe it's not as funny as we thought it was but. I thought it was hilarious still, even looking back on yeah. it. Well, it wasn't my finest moment, I'll be honest. Also detracted from anyway, the point, was. which was a bit unfortunate. <laughs> that was Okay. Oh so 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 oh, so context too, before before we start recording, and of course like, hey, it's late, so like, you know, don't spring no math problems on me, right? It's not gonna be a good time. And I'm like, I was thinking back on it. You spelling the sign yourself. I like, did, I didn't did, say yeah. nothing, right? You said your hypothetical if it's nine nine cents, right? Well, we got if we got a hundred thousand. I'm like I was like, I, he asked yourself the question. So <laughs> you dug your own grave. <laughs> I, yeah, I did, I did. Well, I was only there to. I hope we all learned something but... from that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope we learned something useful from that. Yeah. 
Um, Daniel uh, uh, Ol- Oliveira says, Hey guys, I've heard some times now about Medicham's breakpoint or Medi- Killer Medi, uh, I don't know. What about that? Uh, what is that about? Could you clarify this for me, please? Oh, the you know response with, yeah. Sorry, yeah kind of... Oh, no, I was going to say Bortsif's response. Maybe if, maybe if they leave something out, you can add on to that too. Hmm. Bortsif says, I'm pretty sure it's down to having enough attack on your own Medicham to wreak a break point whereby you do extra damage to opposing Medicham. Once in PvP optimized IVs, which a lot of players, especially experienced players, typically build high PvP optimized IVs. Like, Low attack, high defense, high stamina. To do that, you need your own match to have a higher attack IV than you would normally think ideal. Now that more now that more players are aware of this Medi Slayer version of Medicham, there is a strange dynamic developing where players are building Medicham with higher attack but also higher defense so that their Medicham actually avoid taking extra damage from the opposing Medi Slayers. It's not all positives though, as to have both a higher t- attack and defense stat on your Medicham, you inevitably need to sacrifice your HP stat, which can come into play in some other matchups where Medi might normally win. It's just down to what the players decide is more valuable, winning the mirror or potentially losing against something uh, like a shieldless Altaria because they get farmed down before reaching the Ice Punch. That was very comprehensive, yeah. 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 I was yeah, actually sure going to say that um, we may uh, touch on this a bit later um, because this is kind of relevant to something we're going to discuss in a bit. So um, just remind me. Remind okay. me later yeah yeah and i think um let me see if i could find axon's specific metacham so so axon was the one that really i I don't i don't know if he like he i don't think he came up with it but he popularized it especially his Mm -hmm. run to worlds and he definitely emphasized the importance of the ivs more than most players have done previously um because i didn't actually think he would um I, I didn't really think it would be um, an addition to the recap, yeah? Because, again, like, nobody really looks at IVs because they're so hard to control, but he really did um, zero in on some of the benefits of of the IVs of a, a lot of his Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, meta, yeah, I can't remember exactly what um, the IVs were for Axons, but... Yeah, so that's the thing, right? Uh, and I think Bortsev did a great job of explaining all the different things. Um, the big thing is, if everyone's building this Metacham Slayer thing, then you might still have lower attack and still lose CMP, and you don't really get... Yeah, you yeah. either are doing extra counter damage, or you're still taking extra counter damage on top of it, right? Uh, so there's a lot of things in factor uh, factored in there that you have to watch out for. I can't... I don't remember where I, where I posted this, unfortunately. Um, but... Uh, but yeah, so anyway, Axon had like the world champion had like maybe like a seven or eight attack Medicham mm-hmm. with like pretty high defense, like ten or eleven. I think or it was 12, like fifteen and like, defense and like five yeah. HP. Yeah, something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so so that's the thing, right? And and so well, for those that don't know, a break point is essentially you do extra damage in your fast or charge moves um, if you hit a certain amount of attack. But it's very specified to the specific Pokemon you're facing and to their specific mm-hmm. stats. So just because you have a break potential breakpoint against a Metacham doesn't mean you're guaranteed one. And it's 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 very convoluted in the sense that like like it is something cool to have, but it's not always guaranteed to work. That's mm-hmm. something you have to keep in mind, right? And there's a lot of there's a lot of things that come into play there. Obviously, typically speaking, people talk about breakpoints and bulk points in terms of fast moves because you do more fast move damage. You do more fast moves than charge moves, right? Uh, charge yeah. moves do have breakpoints as well. Like you might do an extra damage on your ice punch, but ideally, how many ice punches are you throwing in a meta champ mirror matchup versus how many counters? Are you throwing way more counters? Yeah. So the extra damage on every counter matters a lot more than any breakpoints you get on uh, charge moves and vice versa for uh, the break a bulk points too, where you take less damage from charge moves mm-hmm. and fast moves. Anyway. That's a whole combo that we might touch upon later too. But hopefully that it makes sense, Daniel. If if it doesn't, feel free to comment again next episode. We'd be happy to kind of like answer any additional questions on that. Eighth the Great says, uh, LOL, Caleb scamming a runescape. Honestly, even to this day, people are scamming and it's kind of just expected these days. See, but that's that's the thing, Eighth the Great. People didn't expect it back then. That's why it worked yeah. amazing, right? It was like 
it, as a phrase says, fishing with dynamite, right? And I was I was raking in the fish. Fishing um, with dynamite. Okay, okay, okay. You never heard that expression? Is that American no. expression? I, I don't think we fish that much here, innit? but I probably just don't have... I mean, I don't really fish that much either, yeah. but... Yeah, well, I'm not yeah. saying you fish that much, but I feel like... I feel like they fish yeah, a decent amount in the yeah, US. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Compared to, yeah. Uh, I, I looked it up, but there's just a bunch of... <laughs> like little cartoons. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. Anyway, yeah. it's... Uh, it's so it is. Uh, Eighth grade also says, "Oh, by the way, the wilderness is back in old school RuneScape. Next time, I'll try to remember the Poenta mirrors. A good games as well. Yeah, Eighth grade was uh, one of the competitors that beat me in the local. Um, yeah, RuneScape man. There, everyone's waiting on you for this story. Better, yeah, better yeah, win yeah. Brisbane. Hey, today. Oh, I, I was. I said today I was going to make my team, but." I didn't but tomorrow well, yes, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna make my team yeah i know but like i wanna i wanna get the wheels in motion do you know what i mean you know how, how's the, how's the morning routine been because i remember you were saying this a few weeks ago you're like i'm back in london yeah. i'm gonna wake up early I'm gonna hit <laughs> yeah. the grind the physical grind go to the gym right yeah, prep God. the body and then i prep the mind for pvp for the gpl and stuff be locked in i'm gonna win this legend bet as well and for those that tuned in too, last week I said we, that, we yeah. streamed uh, you you playing your Trevenant sets on my stream. And uh, for those that haven't <laughs> seen it, uh, I'll post a YouTube video later today. So it'll be up by the time this podcast comes out of like kind of highlights of Anacor's <laughs> Trevenant running greatly. He expects to climb 450 <laughs> points in ELO. How much did he I, gain? You know what? I, I don't know, like 15. <laughs> Was it like fifteen in the end? He went thirteen and twelve. He went thirteen and twelve. He went positive, oh, barely, but he went positive. Yeah, <laughs> there was a few throws there in it, but again, you know what? It was half nine in the evening. Yeah, I was using. What's you know, half nine? Me, there's like nine thirty. Is that what? Yeah, nine thirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, right. you know, it was it was a challenge. It was a challenge. Yeah, but. I'll play in any numbers. waking hour, man. I mean, it'll be the yeah. sun rising, the sun setting. Like, I'm still asleep. <laughs> 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 but I, I will say, Trevenant, running Trevenant Great League is uh, not a fun time. Uh, Quackadal says, think length of the podcast is fine. Wait, 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 you never answered my question. So how how's the morning routine going? Oh, yeah, it's going pretty bad. I can't lie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> do you know what, though? Yeah, I think it was because, like, it was going really well, yeah. And then... How, okay, how, how okay. many days? How many it's days? It's so going really much well? harder. Because that... it was going really well for like oh. a week, maybe a week and a half, something like that. Yeah, but bruv, you know what it is? Okay, so it's just so dark in this country. Yeah, and personally, I feel like the lack of sunshine kind of contributes to like you know your energy levels, right? So if you know if it's like if it's if it's if it feels dark a lot yeah you don't really have like the a lot of the natural energy in it yeah so it takes me like a couple hours to get out of bed uh couple hours to get out of bed no. yeah what, what, actually... what do you mean like so what you what what time does your alarm go off or what time do you wake up so i'm supposed to wake up at six yeah okay and i'll end up really like waking up at like maybe eight or something why so don't you just wake up great. at eight and sleep in a little bit i don't know i'll probably just do the same thing in it yeah i, I, I don't like know for no, humans no, like no. waking up when it's still dark out is not a naturally healthy that's what i'm thing. saying bro it's it like something that's been good. manufactured yeah. like societally manufactured yeah. because of our work schedules or our clocks or whatever right but like yeah. our actual natural natural circadian rhythm we're supposed to go to sleep when the sun sets and wake up when the sun rises exactly right? but Obviously, you know what yeah when i'm saying when dark sunsets, yeah i'm not even talking like it's nighttime dark I'm talking like, bruv, is it's fully daytime. Yeah? yeah. There's so much cloud coverage that it just feels like I, I uh, you know what? I turned the light on in the middle of the day the other day. <laughs> I had the light on. Light. It was like oh, 1 p.m. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, well, I, I mean, uh, well, I, I don't get a lot of problem, in it, you know. Though. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but like, do you know what I mean, <laughs> isn't it? You know, it's like it's it's a bit depressing, I can't lie. But but yeah. Now that uh I've done um so I had like a wedding over the weekend and I was like, you know what? Post wedding, yeah. Back on job. Back on job. So you're gonna see me, yeah, replying to messages, half six, you know. 
Yeah. <laughs> bear, bear, bear in mind with the ELO check, I had a wedding over the weekend. So just uh, better in mind, better in mind. I made no excuses when I had a regional. <laughs> <I'm just saying. laughs> well, well, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, Quacked Out says, think length of podcast is fine. You guys uh, chinwag so much and go off so many tangents, bouncing off each other makes for great listening. And you forget that an episode is three hours long. Uh, like you said, if you vibe off each other, it just comes naturally, especially driving around London can easily finish off an episode in one round. <laughs> the traffic's that bad. That's huh? true. Yeah. 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 Um, calculator coming in clutch. <laughs> Better bring that <laughs> cast seal to your next regional Santa Core. <laughs> hey, hey. You know what? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Too My funny. maths is only going to get better, bro. These men are laughing yeah. until they sit opposite me at the regional table, yeah? Then who's happy to be the human calculator? Mm, see what I'm saying? <laughs> I guarantee this man's playing some uh, Sunshine Cop. Got that Got that calculator out, calculating <laughs> how many more counters to the next body seem on this Vigoroth mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, if he threw five before, how many is <laughs> the next one? <laughs> Let me do some quick maths. <laughs> <laughs> oh man uh oh, yeah. penguin boy says regarding the length of the podcast i'm not sure how many other people do it but i listen to 1.2 speed on spotify which doesn't compromise the sound of your voice but allows me to finish episodes easier so really you could go up to four hours <laughs> <laughs> hey, i'm not four gonna hours, lie uh, that's uh that's pretty genius uh, i can't lie. i never really thought of that that is i uh, uh, so I do this from time to time, but sometimes I forget, or sometimes I just want the longer mm. content. Because, like, sometimes I want, more, like, uh, recently. You want to fill like, out more space. Of... Yeah. The recent, like, yeah. especially on GBLing, I want something in the background playing, right? Mm -hmm. It's nice to have, like, other podcasts going, or if I'm driving, I want the time. Uh, or something I've been doing recently is I've been playing a lot of League of Legends. Mm. Um, and I'm just trying to learn a game inside and out. And sometimes I'm playing by myself, and so I'll just listen to a podcast in the background. And I'll just have it on. And the worst is when the podcast ends in the middle of the game. Cause I'm like, I'm like, I got nothing <laughs> well, you to like do. It. So like, yeah. So I had to wait till like later in the game where my death spawn is like longer so that I can switch over and like do all the stuff. But then I'm like not watching the map and what's going on. Mm. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. That's a hard game. It's a hard game. But uh, honestly, it looks GBL super interesting. But what's Me? the, uh, yeah. Like I know League of like? Legends are mobile, right? <laughs> The thing is, I, yeah, I, is. I wanted to learn like Unite, yeah, because I was like, it yeah. seems like Unite's a super a page, interesting game. Like, easier. It's an easier MOBA, but you can play yeah. Unite too. I mean, there's a bunch of your friends Maybe play like Unite good... too, like a bunch of yeah. Jacob guys play Unite. Like, this is like yeah. they all play like a like you know like DJ. Yeah, I think I've just Ollie, everyone plays Unite. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I just Ollie's never like ridiculously uh... bad in in the terms of like sleep sleep purposes because oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. he straight up like falls asleep during the game i've literally seen him sleepwalking in the game <laughs> like he fell asleep and he's playing on the phone right so you don't even need a switch or you could just play on your phone it's free to download yeah, free yeah. to play you can play like literally tonight or tomorrow morning but his his lucario is literally drifting into my area <laughs> and i have this i have this clipped actually so i can i can send it to you actually you know what i'll throw in the podcast yeah yeah right throw it in, throw it in. <laughs> right now Pai, what are you doing? Pai, are you AFK? What's going on? You asleep? You good? You good? Dude, y'all gotta, you gotta see my screen, man. I'm gonna clip that later. The man, I think he was like falling asleep walking towards the jungle. Dude, that was definitely falling. Oh my gosh, I thought he was like lagging. Anyway, so hopefully you all enjoyed that and Anacor I'll send afterwards so that you can actually enjoy it too. But... The man literally fell asleep while playing, and his character's drifting. I was like, Polly, I was like, you good? Like, you know, what? Like, I rate that dedication to what? the grind, you know what I mean? You know? Yeah, I mean, we play really DJ hours and stuff, too. So shout out to this man's wife for putting up with it, too. I mean, I, I think she's never, I don't think she's ever complained about it, too. But he's, like, passed out on the couch. Like, he, yeah. we'll, we'll see him, like, he used to be snoring on Discord calls. Right? Like, <laughs> mute him. Or sometimes he's snoring on my stream, we just leave it on because it's funny content, right? Uh, but he'll be that, straight up asleep. I remember once he fell yeah. asleep because I was, he was waiting for me to join the game. Five minutes later, when I joined, he fell asleep before I, we, we could start the game. <laughs> he had to find someone else to fill in his spot. It's a five versus five game. We can't just go with four people. Uh, so anyway but uh yeah i mean yeah I, honestly maybe it's a hot take but in my opinion i think mobas are the most entertaining form of esports 
Like it's yeah. super interesting too. I mean, I can't like lie, cool like, and stuff, um, right? It's a little bit more on the basic side, but it's still pretty inter- entertaining. But like League and Dota is like the entertainment value is crazy, and that's why the like prize pools and viewership is so high. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, it seemed like a really. I think around the time it came out as well, there was like um, was like there was some PvP issues with um with go in it so i was i was looking at it i was just like oh this could be a good um Uh game to like just sort of transition to in it but it released during summer um Uh and i think like i I was like i'm not i'm not playing a video game all summer do you know what i mean Uh, (laughs) <laughs> like we we hardly get summer already in it so i was just like yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah the it. sun the sun yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was a bit too late. i mean if you start down unite you might be in bed for an extra like four hours just playing yeah, from yeah, your yeah. phone in bed <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no help it is yeah that is the thing do you have a gaming computer by the way no 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 uh okay then it might be a little bit hard hard to play league and stuff but unite you definitely yeah can. Um, oh, speaking of clips too, right? So you know how like I I, I added your clip from last week from your yeah, first yeah. commentary. Yeah, yeah, I heard that. It wasn't the. I don't think it was. The it thing. wasn't that bad. No, but I don't. It, think was, it was. It the was bit. a thing. No, no, but well, I there... listened to it for a little bit. Yeah. No, I listened wasn't from there the a bit where I was just like stuttering or something. I mean, it was later on in the broadcast. If that's the case, I listened to the first like fifteen or so minutes. I didn't hear anything weird. Really? Like I had to try to find the most awkward moments. But it wasn't really that awkward. <laughs> the most awkward part yeah. was when KDP's like, and we got Anacor drawing. And you're like, hello. Well, just sitting there like. <laughs> so you just said, hello. And then just pause. And KDP's like, okay, I guess I'll continue. <laughs> like, wait, wait, like, wait. Let me like, see if I can find out. Yeah. Uh, but um, but I, I just remember I listened to it. I was channel, like, eh, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that awkward. Yeah. Uh, maybe Maybe it was worse in my head. But yeah, yeah I, th- I think that's, the rest that's what I figured too. But uh, but I said I was going to splice it, so I did. But like looking yeah, back yeah. on it, it wasn't like I <laughs> it was. It was a pretty I boring it splice. Good. Yeah, I can't lie. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but like I I didn't know what I was I didn't know what I was about to get myself into. But yeah, no, I thought I thought you did fine. Um, you explained like the stuff. I didn't watch like the rest of the broadcast. I was going to check it out and see what the commentary, the live action mm. commentary looked like. But it was it was good. Hey. Dip your feet in the Thank the you. commentary role. They could uh. Hey, honestly, if we ever have to vamp, right? We have to kill time because it's lag and yeah. stuff, and you're sitting there. <laughs> I'm chilling. <laughs> All right. LCQ London, right? Me and Butters had to talk for like 90 minutes straight, right? Like Bro. the worst person, they're like, All right, we're like, we're like, Yeah, they're like, Hey, we're just going to need you to stall for like 40 minutes. I'm like, Whoa, What? <laughs> and you know, when they ask you to stall for 40 minutes, like it's you more know, than 40. It's serious. Minutes. Yeah. 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 I'm that, that's mad that they actually. We, we did have to stall because of some lag issues. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no. Nah, hey, if they're like, we uh, got us, we need you and Anacor to stall for forty minutes. Hey, <laughs> give me ninety. Deal, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, give me two yeah. hours. <laughs> Yo, production, <laughs> send us some math want. problems, yeah. right? That that'll <laughs> be some entertainment right there. <laughs> Are you smarter than the fifth grader? <laughs> Make sure Anacor has a guest. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you're um, if you're listening, Pokemon Company. Hey. I'm here. There might be someone. There might be people listening. I know people from the Antic Listen podcast. Maybe people from PBCI. Yeah, you, you, know? you want someone to kill time? You need a yeah, little entertainment. Let's the um, make sure make sure my recommendation is if you want to go into commentary, mm. uh, be sure to download the VOD and like splice up stuff for your caster reel, for a future caster oh, reel. Because right, okay, you'll you'll need yeah, a caster. Yeah. I mean, you don't need one, but it'll help your chances of being an official commentator. If you have a caster reel, you can send it mm. over and be like, hey. Like this is my this is my thing. What you think, right? Um, right. Especially because, especially if you're going to be in EU in the future, right? Um, yeah, true, true, true. Because because what yeah. what's your plan? Going to Australia and then you're coming back to London, and then are you yeah. going back to Australia again next year or like? Yeah. Like, are so you doing this every like... single year for like the foreseeable future or like what's what's? <laughs> nah, uh, no, nah, it will just be what's, like what's when I go back plan? next year. So when I go back yeah. next year, it will be I'll be there for the whole year, and. So uh, okay. I'll be, and it will actually be roughly at the start of the season when I decide to go. Wait, back wait, 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 wait! Give me the time. We met next year, like next, like twenty twenty four. This time next year, yeah, yeah, I'll be going back to Australia. Um, oh, again. for at least yeah, but for at least the entire year. 
But this is just the plan uh, for now. This is just the plan for okay, now. Okay, okay. So yeah, if you be brought out as official plan. commentator, then maybe you got to cut those plans uh, short, maybe, right? Maybe, I mean, maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, hard to pass up traveling around Europe doing these official yeah, commentary stuff, right? It's true, it's true, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. you better qualify for Worlds when you can. <laughs> right now, when you're not a commentator. Yeah, uh, Borsif says, yeah. Borsif says, I like Caleb, but I can see why he runs through co hosts like Niantic runs through failed AR titles. <laughs> <laughs> he just takes bets he's confident of winning and weights the forfeits of those bets heavily against the other person. From what I've seen, his friends have had to shave their beard, take the hot chip challenge unfilled, and trade away their favorite best buddy Pokemon they've had since forever. <laughs> when Caleb loses his, he, he sets of his forfeits as things he kind of wanted to do anyway. Get a perm, wear no lens glasses, tell a story that he's going to tell in 50 episodes time anyway. He wouldn't even agree to the Master League Trevenant because he thought he might lose the latest Stardust bet. He's still scamming to this day, just not in RuneScape. Hopefully, Anacor can Oof. actually have Caleb put his <laughs> money where his mouth is for once, but maybe after he improves his catching game first. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look. Wait, that means someone watched the stream. <laughs> You, you know, this is this is the thing, right? People sometimes say like, like, oh, like, what a stupid bet, right? Like, how could like, you know, what a stupid bet, Caleb made and stuff like that. And I always say, you know, what's more stupid than the stupid bet parameters <laughs> is the person that agreed to the stupid bet parameters, right? <laughs> I'm, I think anyone looking at the scenario would rather be me than the other person, right? I'm, I'm the one that set this all up. I'm just. I'm gonna say, man. That's I'm true. uh, yeah. I'm the I'm the mastermind. I'm the I'm the main character of the story. <laughs> so. See, I'm not gonna lie. So, yeah, I just you... I couldn't turn down a challenge. Do you know what I mean? In it, because I will have faith That's right until the end. Yeah, that I can do it. So I guess yeah, you. yeah. But but the difference is the difference is yeah. yeah. But the difference is that I'm gonna actually do it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You're, you're and only again, one that... so far and. We'll yeah, we'll wait till true. the ELO check and then we'll we'll see we'll see how you feel. We will, right? we will, yeah. yeah there's okay. there's no there's no coincidence that when I used to play Among Us with my friends back in the day, I was like <laughs> the, the guy, right? The imposter or the detective to solve everything. Like sometimes I was just playing with my food. Like I literally knew who it was <laughs> and I say, Look, y'all know who to vote for, right? I'm not even gonna say it, right? Let's shoot, right? Be smart about this. And they'll shoot the wrong person. I call him being rap. I'm like, come on, what are y'all doing? Right? Like, this is obvious, right? They're like, well, who is it? Who is it, Caleb? Let's just tell us. It's like, I can't make it too easy now, right? I'm trying to have some fun here. True. But uh, that's pretty impressive, I can't lie. You know, and then when I'm an imposter, that's when I really just, you know, mind deaf you. <laughs> How many times have you been caught? This day. Oof. Well, I mean, it's, I still get caught plenty of times. I don't like win every game or anything, but yeah. I, I do I do pull off some pretty impressive wins and, uh, deception stuff i have a lot of those mods still saved but like i don't know if people care to watch it i thought about it back in the day and actually the podcast listeners let me know right i said most of you that listen to podcasts probably watch some of my youtube videos maybe not i don't know maybe they just listen to podcasts but would you be interested if i were to release like old clips maybe among us or other games i played funny youtube videos or throwback videos like on thursdays maybe like a throwback thursday content on my youtube channel just something really random right like maybe not pokemon go related maybe something really random but let, let me know what your thoughts are because I have a bunch of footage and really funny content, but like sometimes it's not as relevant, but um, you never know. You know, maybe Anacord get, gets into Unite and we have some funny Unite moments and he'll throw up a video maybe. like two years later of that. <laughs> as a throwback. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be a throwback, right? I can't throw it like the yeah, ball yeah, Thursday. That, yeah. I mean, that's still a throwback, right? It's just a, I guess just so, a throwback yeah, to yeah, last week. It's a very short throwback. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah throwback to the day before. <laughs> Back to five hours later. <laughs> Uh, look, Borsev, I I get you, but if you're if anyone's listening, they're me. You know, uh, I'm all about stacking the cards in my favor if I can. That's that's the trick, right? You stack the cards in your favor, but you make the other person not think it's in your favor. That's the best part, right? I don't make bets that I plan on losing. <laughs> yeah, do you know what and, the thing and sometimes is? Sometimes if I have like, to work for I it, know. I'll I'll work for it, right? Like yeah. the starters bet. I had to work for the starters, right? Like I didn't know, like I don't know what I was yeah. dealing with, but like, <laughs> that's but I but I, I but like I was catching catching at Pittsburgh, right? I was because 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 that that one I, you can't really say I had that in my favor, right? You know, you can't really say that one yeah. was really in my favor. The punishment's the same. The the legend bet as well, right? The punishment's the same, right? We both had to eat the habanero slash hot chip is still available, right? But 
I'm gonna grind, right? If I can, yeah. I will. I will lose sleep all day long to prove a point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I feel like that's where we differ in it, because yeah, I was like going over how I was, um, how I was doing that Stardust thing in it, yeah? and I did have a few people tell me they were like, they were like, yo, that's a bit of a weak grind in it. Yeah? I was like, yo, I was doing at <laughs> <A> least. <bit. laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, but I was, I was convinced. Kind. They're real kind to you. I was convinced, but I was, I was also just like, you know what? I, I yeah. thought there's no way I didn't lose. Right? I but thought also, no I was way. like, you know what? If I'm doing more hours than this, yeah, then I think I don't mind giving it to you. You know, like, if you're out there, like, on road for five hours a day, yeah, then. But I, wa- I wasn't grinding as long. You literally probably had the app open longer <laughs> than I did grinding. That's the crazy part. Like, That's you had to have because you're walking 15 kilometers. Like I'm sitting at home just GBLing, and then w- I go out. Like I literally went out for the Pittsburgh, and I I grinded twice. I went out for spotlight hour, the Mankey spotlight hour, and then Santa Monica here for like two hours, and that was it. That was I it. literally played less. That was Bro, it. I don't know, man. I don't. Know. And you saw my home spawns. I got nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I GBL some, but like you you don't get that much charge from GBL, especially yeah. compared to four times dust, right? I was GBLing. I did my sets, but that was Mad. it. Yeah. I have no reason. I have no. Uh... I don't know how you I did it. Know. Well, I don't know how I... For those that don't know, know this about me, I am, like, one of the most persistent people you'll ever meet. And, like, I'm not, like, I'm not easily dissuaded. So if I have a bet that is on deck, I, I'm going to work for it, right? I'm not the smartest guy. I'm not the most talented guy. But <laughs> I damn sure will grind the hardest I can. <laughs> I think I'm staying up all night playing League of Legends. I'm, like, I'm like bronze. I'm, like, <laughs> in the low, one of the lowest tiers grinding out, right, hours every day. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll be back to silver. But uh, anyway, that does it for our questions for this week. And we got some important info hot off the press. Ooh. Literally, right when we were about to record this, this was going around on Twitter, right? We're recording this on Monday, uh, October the 2nd. So mm-hmm. by the time you all hear this, you probably already seen it, if, especially if you're on Twitter and stuff. But Play Pokemon, the Pokemon company, updated mm-hmm. their rule book for Pokemon Go. And there's a bunch of few changes, right? But the biggest one is open team sheets will be live starting at, I think, LAIC, if not, I'm LAIC, not mistaken, right? Yeah. LAIC. So so not for the... We have at, we have a couple of tournaments, like four or five maybe in October. Three in North America, I know that for sure. Mm-hmm. Toronto, Sacramento, um, Pittsburgh. So or, I think sorry, it's Peoria. those three. Yeah, those three and then Lil in Europe. And then I think Oh, it's is that on the third weekend? Oh, okay. So yeah. there's, there's yeah, one yeah, every yeah. weekend. There's no overlapping yeah. yet. Ever, so right, four, right. No four tournaments yet. before LAIC. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then boom, open team sheet. Open team Which sheet. Which is huge. So I guess yeah. I'll get a taste of no open team sheet one last time mm-hmm. as a competitor in Sacramento. But I like it. It's it's going to be big. Yeah. Uh, I think for people that run spice and run like cheese comps or cheese movesets from time to time, mm-hmm. like they might not like it as much because it kind of ruins the surprise factor. But I think for a fairness sake, especially in a best of three formats, yeah. it's probably for the best for competitive consistency. Because like, if you get cheesed by one random move set on game one, we talked about this before, right? And you just get yeah. RPS game two, or you have two chances of getting RPS game two and three, you're just you're just out of it, right? Yeah. Like it's just, even against like shadow big teams, right? Like that might be a sludge bomb coming at you instead of an axis, <laughs> right? Like, like that's true. That's true. Right? Yeah, like yeah, when yeah. you see that, or I got yeah. cheese in GBL today. It was a leaf leaf tornado superior, and I shielded it on my Steelix, <laughs> and they debuffed me too on the first one, and then they throw a friend's no, plan. Dead, like, yeah. you, leaf you know, I'm not gonna lie, yeah, yeah that's you actually you leaf tornado in Ultra League. That's wild to me. Sir, oh, this is in why? Ultra League, yo. In Ultra League, yeah, GBL, the oh. best fighter in Ultra League is arguably Verizion. right? Yeah, right, then you just get wooed, yeah. And if not, Cobalion. But either way, just fighters in general, right? I mean, they both just completely wall off the superior. But if you can hit back against Verizion, double super yeah. effective aerial ace or single, single like or neutral aerial ace against Cobalion, it's still better than nothing, right? Yeah. Well, also, Giratina's everywhere. What? There's dragons <laughs> everywhere. Are you going to throw pure grass moves? Are you? Are oh, you? Man. This is why it's ludicrous, right? And I shielded it, right? <laughs> well, I mean, I guess he's going to bait me with aerial ace, but the, the the mad part was that I got debuffed too. Um, yeah. So that, that made it even worse. And there's Charizard everywhere. Like, what are you running triple grass move superior for? 
Safe to say I lost, right? If you couldn't tell from my tone of voice, I lost. <laughs> <laughs> no open team cheats go badly, for sure. You know, unless you're uh, running that exploit, that really but you, uh, I would not recommend that. But, uh, yeah. but anyway. Yeah, honestly, though, Absolutely I feel bad. like anyway, that's, um, yeah. that may have been... Like, you would have gotten a few people who were thinking of using Leaf Tornado on Superior. Now. Like, the usage of Superior hasn't quite taken off yet, where... You know, people oh, it's are going to take off in the future, like, I think. But it's going to take off. This is what I'm saying, isn't it? Yeah. So I don't yeah, think you run. Why would you run Leaf Tornado? You just hard loose a mirror, right? Bruv, some, but like you said, in it, some people are going to run it anyway. You know what I mean? Isn't it? It's, it's not a good, yeah. yeah but this, I think, this is again yeah. like there's not too many. You know, we don't have that many moves, um, or like that many move variations where it's as big as it is in VGC in it. Yeah? But again, you are still going to yeah. like you know run into it. Um, but what's also quite yeah, interesting... Yeah, the biggest and, impact here is probably Medicham. Yeah, uh, so... Punch over Psychic or Power Punch, Speaking right? of Medicham, um, obviously, I was like, uh, you know, with our was comment this about the... Up? Yeah, yeah. So, the rule... Um, the rule book also states... So, it states all moves have to be on the team list, but also HP. Um, and that's actually relevant oh. because... Yeah, you that's can identify. So, that's huge. Literally. The Meta Shame Slayer. Yeah, because you'll know. You, you know if which one. If, if it's lower than. Yeah, you'll know. Oh. Mm -hmm. This is actually big. That's, yeah. ma that's massive so, for so many reasons. Because yeah. not. No, like, we're talking about Meta Shame right now, but not only that, all other matchups, right? Yeah. Like, if your Umbreon has way more HP than theirs, you're probably going to lose CMP against this opponent. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, dude, that's. I didn't even think Bruh, about that. That's huge. massive. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. But it does also Wait, mean that like we now have to like learn our HP stats of, you know, like a lot Roughly. of like I mean, the how thing you, is, you don't know CMPs. where their, their stats are going, right? Yeah. yeah but as in like, I mean, you know, learning so, sort of so, like the rank one HP and then, um, you know, maybe like. Oh, uh, I got you. Well, I mean, the thing is you have your own team, so there. you really need to. Uh, yeah, Do you really need so. to know because like. Because, because yeah. no, no, but then your, again, you, it would at be least like, for CMP purposes. Yeah, yeah, for CMP purposes. Oh, if you're really trying to optimize, like, oh, like, I know I hit yeah. a break point against the rank one. Or yeah, something. exactly. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's that's just nice identifying level, yeah. certain things like that. Yeah. So yeah, that could be yeah. interesting. Or like, for example, let's say um, Licky Reggie, right? Um, if the opposing Licky has like a decent amount lower HP than the rank one, then you can probably assume it's getting the, mm. you know, like the break point or something like that. So. Yeah, that's yeah. going to be a very interesting um, element to the uh, so <laughs> to these matches. Now. I tweeted it out right before we went live, and a mm. lot of people are responding to. So let me respond to some of these comments too that my post. Uh, Arsicola says, honestly, not a fan of this. Takes all surprise factor out that couldn't flip matchups and change the outcome. Now even more predictable games, to be honest. Uh, and then PPC responded with, in a tournament without a stream, I'd agree with you. When streamed, though, it means that people with sneaky surprises that get put on stream have them revealed, and so they go into a disadvantage in all future games versus opponents who haven't bounced you. 100% agree. Mm -hmm. uh, Rowlett also says, sorry, but this is how things are in the Pokemon scene. We can't have one Pokemon game with different rules from another. That's not fair. I don't know if that's necessarily uh, true, but yeah, I mean, nah, that, that is, uh, that's a take, yeah. right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I I don't necessarily disagree <laughs> it with take. it, but like yeah. I don't I don't know if it's like well, well I don't so think I'll it's that it relevant. Way. It's definitely and it's definitely not a mandatory thing because Pokemon Go didn't have open team sheets for like a year <laughs> after yeah, the yeah. other games, right? So like yeah. it's already been different, right? I mean, now we're standardizing it, but I don't think like I don't think it's for that uh, reason. Really, say, I, I think it's yeah, I don't think standardized it's for, reason, yeah. for fairness as opposed to like you know yeah. they do it in the other games because also I look think, the rules are different in all the other games, isn't it? So you can't exactly. Like, as in yeah, the actual yeah. game I think the people itself I, is different. So Right, right. And I think the staff at TPCI, like, are very aware and know that every game has different needs, right? So mm -hmm. if this isn't a need that is needed for Pokemon Go, that, you know, then whatever. But I, yeah. I do, I, I do though, agree for this specific case, standardizing it across the, the three main games at these regionals is important. But um, Well, I don't know how TCG it, works. It would, is it like... Uh, it feels a bit weird to know. I, your I think I, I actually I don't know. I know VGC has yeah. open team sheets. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. TCG has open deck list. I'm actually not entirely sure, so don't quote me on that. Okay. But essentially, they have like they know what's in a deck of opponent. Interesting. Okay. So they'll know. Because like, I, I, I used to play like, Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, like, okay. 
Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, well, yeah. I mean, I think back then they probably didn't. Now they do, right? Because before it okay, surprised people. But again, similar reasons. If you're on stream and stuff, and mm. it just, it just, you have, you can strategize if you know what your opponent has in their deck. That's right? true. That's true. Yeah. 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 Uh, for the battle says this is the only fair way. As someone who has never been str uh, streamed, this is standard in a lot of games, and this is for money. It only makes sense. Mm -hmm. First Olympian said, "This is so lame. Play poker with your cards face up too." Um, and then the rally responded with the same comment as they did for RC Colas. Jan uh, Skursky says, "The bad part, although not changed, I think is HP. Why disclose this? If so, then all IVs could be mandatory as well, and I think shouldn't be. As for moves, it levels the field between seen on stream previously or not, so seems good. I mean, here's the thing, right? If you're, if you're, um." If you're on stream, I guess you can't see the HP of Pokemon on stream. Either, you can't right? see the HP, no. Okay, no. okay, okay. So that so I guess I guess that is new information that is not previously revealed either is now being revealed. Yeah, I, well, I I'm know. wondering I, like, if honestly, potentially. I, yeah, I was gonna say like if they if they're doing open team sheets, then it's a possibility that um, teams will be available. Uh, for viewing as soon as the tournament starts, as opposed to like you know when they release the the team list later on. I don't know if that's the case because oh. I think actually maybe in VGC they also release the team list later on anyway. But you can. You know, I think the team list team might sheets. be released but, later because someone needs to manually do it. Okay. Like manually export if the data and upload it, I guess. Because uh, they're okay. not the same system, right? Because Arcanine versus like on the actual play Pokemon. No, 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 no. As in like releasing it on Arcanine. Oh, on Arcanine. So, so what they, yeah, so oh, what they maybe. do at the moment is, yeah. um, the teams will be hidden on the competitors list, and then you yeah, know yeah, later yeah. on in the week they'll then release it, and it will be, um, oh, you know, viewable on RK9, right? So it's a possibility that maybe they'll make it viewable as soon as the tournament starts. In which case, I yeah, you know, there's no like, uh, yeah, exactly. You you know, because, all the teams because for going day into two, day two especially. Well. Yeah. exactly yeah because yeah. you can have open team sheets when you exchange sheets with people but if this person never had showed up on stream mm -hmm. then you still won't know unless you talk to their comp their opponents before right and that's just like yeah like it feels grimy but at the same time like you have to get info somehow right i don't know if it's against the rules to talk to previous competitors I i've never done it personally so i don't know if that's even against the rules but like yeah it's just i like don't think it's against the rules but it's definitely a um a discussion that they used to have in vgc before they went to open team sheet this year where yeah. it was like players who had more friends would then have an advantage because they have you know yeah. more places to get information from so yeah um yeah so it eliminates all of that what if you were streamed nice. and your opponent wasn't right it's just like you had to balance out the playing field somehow right it's, yeah it's weird um and then uh rally also comments i'm actually happy Although I will, I'll miss surprise factors. It makes streamed sets much more balanced and fair. Yeah, I think it just honestly, not even that. It just changes the strategy now, right? Especially yeah. with HP, right? Obviously, people might not like the HP. I don't, I don't know. I, I for, personally, I should like it because again, it gives you a another aspect of strategizing ahead of time. It's really mm -hmm. it, it, the real the real question is: Do you value strategy ahead of time or? Or the surprise factor and strategizing around it in the moment, right? And I think, like, I, I, there's there's different arguments around both, right? Because there is there is merit to prepping a team and having it being like a certain like like IB spread just so you could win and surprise your opponents on CMP every time, right? I, like, mm -hmm. Axon did that a lot at Worlds, especially with this meta yeah. jam, right? Which I think definitely won him a bunch of matches. I don't know though; he might have still won it even without that specific spread, but. You'll never know, but that was a big part of his strategy, right? I mean, he, he literally mm -hmm. made a whole post about all his IV spreads and why he ran whatever, right? So so you do remove a lot of that unknown, and so people can predict if they're going to win CP or not, so they can overfarm and stuff like that. Um, that being said, you could also build some funky spreads. You could build like high <laughs> attack, high <laughs> HP, and no defense, right? Yeah. And then really throw your opponent off and just still win CMP, right? How much is it worth it, right, to sacrifice all that stam defense? I don't know, that's something you have to figure out yourself. I, yeah. Again, I personally think because it's the best of three and these games are like, like having surprise factor when there's so little like wiggle room already and so little variance in some of these games, like it just, it sometimes can be a huge disadvantage, especially the the, the actual reveals of teams, right? For being on stream, the not or whatever. Even if you're not streamed, right? It's just like, 
that's such a it's such a unfortunate feeling and feeling like you got cheesed out of a matchup because of the surprise factor. And I, I know like for some people they're gonna disagree with that take because for them, like that's a big part of their strategy, right? Because they might think like I don't stand a chance going toe-to-toe against someone like Axon right. without a cheese strategy or surprise moveset. It's possible that might be the case, but I think now I think at least now it gives you the incentive to work on your mechanics, to work on your gameplay so that you can go toe-to-toe with someone without mm-hmm. needing to rely on a surprise factor, right? It's Pokemon Go. It's a game where, like, you can literally start a year ago, and if you build the resources, you can be good in a few months, right? If you understand the mechanics and everything, you put the time into it. I mean, like, Emmy Weedo is a great example of that. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, what do you call it? Tomahawk was a great example of that, too, right? Uh, we yeah. had on yeah, previous yeah, yeah. episode. I, I think a good analogy to this is when they got rid of Fast One Denial. Because when they got rid of fast one denial, you're not relying on this gambit of trying to deny them uh, a certain fast move every time or let them let them hold fast move through if you mess it up. Instead, if force players like myself as well, I was someone that tried to go for fast one denial <laughs> so that I didn't know how to optimize my timings, right? In full disclosure, I've mentioned this before, and you know, I'm, I'm not ashamed of admitting that. But I knew that when fast when optimized tr- uh, when fast one denials weren't a thing anymore, and it was consistently fast moves go through when you throw a charge move. Um, I had to I had to learn everything again. I had to learn how to optimize my charge moves because if I didn't, I was going to fall behind. I couldn't rely on like this gamble of trying to deny my opponent's moves and build advantage from there. I had to learn the mechanics. I had to learn how to time better to be to stay competitive against some of the be- some of the best players in the world, or even not even the best players in the world, just like just any other battler, right? Um, so hopefully that will force people down that path because again, like regardless if you like it or hate it. This is it. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. This is it. And I <laughs> think true, uh, true. I think there's a lot more arguments for why it's better than not. That's yeah, my personal I take. Agree. Obviously, I agree with this, so maybe I'm biased, but the Pokemon company clearly thinks so. Whoever, you know, people that draft this up. I, I, I don't want to miscredit there, but I think a lot of this document might have been from Mel. Mel Good, actually. Um, oh, she, was, she was brought on as an esports manager. I think it's her, that's her official role in TPCI. So, Big shout out to her because this document is comprehensive, right? So definitely give it a read. Mm-hmm. Um, I think who tweeted it out? So play Pokemon tweeted it out on their Twitter. I also quote tweeted it on my Twitter. So if you can't find it from there, you can because I probably tweet a little bit less than them. You can find it on mine. Um, but there's a whole document. There's a, it's not just this, but that's the biggest one, which is huge, which is yeah. absolutely huge. And then also something else they teased in this one, which. A little spoiler for this upcoming shadow event is they said Pokemon that are banned in in the tournament, uh, you know, since this handbook came out are uh what the glaring birds and then Shadow Hasuan Sneasel and Shadow <laughs> Sneasler, which don't exist in the game at this current time on October 2nd. But my guess is they're on the horizon. Either. Yeah. And could you know what? Thing. Yeah, I, I think one thing that's this interesting. It's kind of about a weird ban. What uh, uh why? What you reckon as well? Well, okay. So, 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 let me clarify. Shadow Sneasler, I think, is a good ban. Shadow Hasu and Sneasel, why would you ban that? Everyone, if it's in the Shadow Stops, you can just get it, right? It's not like unless it's exclusive. Uh, like it's not like exclusive, yeah. right? I guess that makes but sense. But Shadow Sneasler, I think, I don't know. Shadow Sneasler, I feel like if you evolve one, it probably still. It, I, the real question is, does the Shadow Hasu and Sneasel hit? Like, is uh, whatever? What you get at? I like. Catch at level fifteen. Oh right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is yeah, yeah. it Appreciate is is a CP too high for the Great League Sneasler? Yeah. If it is, I think that's a great ban. If it isn't, then I don't really understand the ban. Right. The original yeah. original reason of Sneasler being banned before is because it was super inaccessible unless you had like a a baby cow, someone that just started a hatch egg and traded you at low friendship, right? Or just, just not even general. Just it had to be a low level hatch. Mm-hmm. The same thing could be done with shadow uh, stops and and balloons. If you have a low account, you can catch a shadow Pokemon at a lower level. Then trade it to your account and then evolve it to Shadow Sneasel. So, but no, but you shadow can't. You can't trade Sneasel, the Shadow. So you would have to have started oh, it at a lower level account, yeah. Or it was with um, if you had like return Pokemon, then you'd purify yeah, it and yeah. then trade. Yeah, it, but 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 then but, then but regular Sneasel is not banned though. It's just a yeah, purified. Yeah, one. exactly. Like purified yeah, ones aren't banned. Oh yeah, yeah you're right. That's you're true. Right. That is a bit so, of a strange uh, ban. I don't. Well, know, I, I guess I don't maybe think it's worth banning at all. Like, okay, if I don't like, if I had to battle someone, I don't mind you started your yeah. account like two days ago, right? <laughs> like to get a shadow <laughs> season. I don't. Know, I guess like yeah. you, you could theoretically like spoof or grind a ton to actually build a competitive team these days to, to yeah. still run it. I don't know. Maybe the shadow sneezer ban is probably for the best if the Hisuian sneezer can't evolve into a sneezer at level fifteen. 
Also, um, possibly like maybe the actually, uh, I can check shadow right event now. is that weekend, so it could be. Well, could no, this be... is this is banned. Oh, for but this is just banned. Just, just... yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. True, true, true. yeah weird. No, no, no. Okay, no. Uh, I don't, I don't get it. Then no, I just looked this up right now. A Sneasler mm. in in Great League, uh, you can definitely have one under fifteen. It's like yeah, like a six fifteen ten Sneasler. Yeah, a six just a reg, oh, I'm just saying a regular one, right? Because the IBs, yeah. the CP is the same. A six fifteen ten Sneasler is level seventeen in Great League, fourteen ninety five. Yeah. So, you could definitely what, do so it. What do you mean? Do what? So, uh, uh, like you could definitely <laughs> evolve. <laughs> like like the highest <laughs> okay, CP what you're of. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. You have calculated strikes again. <laughs> the, uh, no, no. So, okay. so no. So like, if you catch a Shadow Hasu and Sneasel, yeah. It you doesn't can evolve it, it, it at level fifteen. Was, you can evolve into yeah. Sneasler, and it won't go over the cap. So I don't. Okay. I don't, I'm I'm just curious on the ban. I I don't. I'm not yeah. saying like honestly, it's not that meta relevant, so it's not really a big deal. Like just like the Glen yeah. Birds are not that meta relevant. I think those make sense still for bans. I mean, I don't really even know yeah. if you really need those. But yeah, like a fifteen, fifteen, fifteen Sneasler in Great League, it's for fourteen seventy three at level sixteen. So literally, even if you have a perfect shadow Hasu and Sneasel, you call from you could still Rocket, it. you can evolve and use it right away. Yeah. Yeah. Who uh, knows? Who I, knows? I, I mean, either way, either way, a little teaser. Again, I'm not like I'm not actually like mad about that. Whatever. It just it is an interesting ban, but a little teaser for what's coming. Again, Sneasler, Sneasel. Uh, Sneasel. Uh, do you know what? One thing about Sneasler, yeah, is that like obviously it's not seen any success. Yeah. But yeah. It did used to be pretty high up on the PV poke rankings, yeah. And again, mm. obviously that doesn't say too much, yeah. But sometimes I feel like it implies that there is a. Oh, it's not even on the, the rankings anymore. Um. Oh no, there is. Yeah. Sometimes it implies that there's um that there's some play do you know what i mean in it you know that like something could be good in the right hands i don't know if this is the case i don't know if this is the case for it uh, at the moment but you know it's a glassy pokemon already in it so shadow yeah, close combat either. with stab but it's got shadow claw you know so not too bad shadow aerial ace wait no it's not really anything to uh, d- does that exorcer too and exorcer yeah shadow exorcer it got so it's yeah, so it's, but if you run Exorcer in close combat, you get you get you get walled by Gligar. Yeah, that's the reason why Toxic is really hard to use in this meta right now. It gets walled by yeah. Gligar. Yeah, that's such a shame as well because I felt like Toxicroak, like with the flyer bands, that it could potentially be a good uh, alternative counter user. But then, yeah, Gligar just Gligar. I guess the problem. Yeah, yeah, it struggles against all the flyers for the most part. Mm. Um, and then you know, Deoxys fans like you got shield every cycle. <laughs> it's like you just, you're down two shields right off the bat, yeah, you know. Sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, you imagine you down with a hundred energy, then they come in with Gligar to absorb it all. <laughs> like, what you gonna do? <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, so definitely get recommend reading through that handbook if you have a chance. Um, mm-hmm. yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty dope. Yeah, uh, I think it will be nice also that it's uh, debuting at LAIC. Um. You know, big Brazilian international, right? Uh, mm-hmm. It was going to be a sick. Uh, tournament I think it's anyway, nice too because so... um because we have a yeah, and it's like we have time for it, and also like because people are prepping for October tournaments mm-hmm. already, and like if they sprung a like I personally wouldn't mind, but I think some people might be like thrown off a little bit if they sp- like we're only four days away from Peoria for the for yeah. the tournament, right? For regional, so um, so there's that, but yeah, so. We'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, again, shout out to whoever worked on this. Might be multiple people. My guess is Mel was one of the driving forces on it, um, but I don't want to discredit. But either way, big shout out to everyone that helped out with this. I think it's me personally. I think it's for the better, and I think a lot of people will agree with that. Yeah. Um, obviously, can't please everyone. Uh, we speaking of things that are happening with play stuff and content, we got player profiles now on Draco Viz. I, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're you're a you're yeah, a fellow right. Draco Vizer, so you uh, I am, you break uh, it down for us. I'm just I'm just a fan. I'm not a I'm not actually on the staff. I'm a fellow anything, Draco Vizer. Well, it was something. You got a bone to was... pick though. Oh, go on. Go ahead. What you you Share missing a badge sign? <laughs> uh, sure, you, you, you damn right I am. <laughs> <laughs> 
Of course. I worked hard for this. I don't compete in three tournaments. You couldn't even get mine right? I'm not like Arrow missing? that had what nine. There's not that many data points. What, what are you missing? Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, Coming right. at me with that answer. What are you, what? <laughs> you guys are the ones that messed up. <laughs> right? This, this, uh, we, got, we got to talk about customer service or drink this, right? I come in the oh, restaurant. You made the so order bad. wrong. I'd be like, what, you got a problem with your order? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I said no oh, mayonnaise. Yeah. And you got oh, extra yeah. mayonnaise on this, right? What are you talking about? All right. Hey, hey, hey. Um, so... Uh, Okay, anyway, tell us what the player profile <laughs> okay, thing okay, is yeah, first, yeah. and then uh, I'll, okay, I'll, so I'll share my bone. Okay, this was actually, um, I actually remember that. So this was an idea that we had pretty early on. Um, and I think when you had us on for our, like, Dra the first Drake of his special uh, episode, it was actually like, I think um, you guys were like, oh, you know, what things do you have, uh, you know, like for the future? We, did, we didn't want to, like, confirm anything because we were like, well... You know, we don't want to uh, promise loads of stuff too early, especially because yeah. we have so many more ideas as well that still, you know, haven't even started being working on. So worked on. Um, but uh, as soon as the new season came, we were like, well, this seems like a good time for it. Right. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, player profile. So basically any of you guys who are listening. So um, anyone who has been to a regional or has been on the GBL leaderboards, uh, you can now search your IGN uh, on drakeviz.com and you can find your profile. So this will show you all the teams you've used in every regional you've competed in, and it will show you all of your leaderboard placements. Now, previously, you would be able to see leaderboard placements on the Japanese website 9DB. Um uh, which was, you know, a great tool for like, you know, people to nine you know, DB. Yeah, so uh, I think okay. just search like nine, nine DB like leaderboard right? and it will come come up. Yeah, huh? yeah. gotcha. Mm. Yeah. And um, uh, but the thing is, it's a Japanese site, a bit difficult to navigate if you don't um read Japanese. Um, so it, I guess it kind of like you know made sense for us to make an English version, but also combine it with um the play data as well um and yeah it's uh very exciting you know there's uh we also work together with jay jan who previously used to do the gbl spreadsheet so he would also track all the data um but he would also um uh kind of calculate a metric of the most consistent GBLers, right? So the ones who most consistently um, stayed in the leaderboards or like stayed quite high up the leaderboards, you know. So for example, you could get someone who um, hits rank number one. Um, maybe they stop playing after that. And then for the rest of the season, they're sort of playing casually. So, you know, they're, they're not hitting leaderboards. They're just, you know, like playing around. Um, and you could get someone who maybe consistently is throughout the whole season on the first page right um that person may be uh may have a better performance level because you know they've been consistent in uh in how uh, well they've been doing so you can see that stuff as well um and yeah man it's uh pretty exciting we've got badges brav brav when i tell you yeah like <laughs> like i was looking on twitter yeah like after we did the tweet Bruv, people love badges, you know. <laughs> they love. Well, yeah, you obviously love badges as well, These right? Badges look good um, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. So polymers are. I love the one I'm missing hand as well. Drew... <laughs> Wait, I'm on your page now. What are you actually missing? Wait, okay. Yeah, you so can you finish got... your thing. Finish your thing. Yeah, shout out to polymers up. Yeah. Yeah. So polymers up. Um. Uh. He designed all the badges, and then yeah. he made our Battlecast logo. He made my mm -hmm. personal logo for Caleb Peng as well. The cats there you go. This guy's a stuff. artist. Um, and Shiny He's Dialga. Like that and <laughs> That's the crazy part. Yeah. <laughs> he literally just taught himself all this stuff. I was like, how did you learn how to do this? No, the thing is, he has a, he has a really good eye. He has a really good eye yeah, to this stuff, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. He knows what looks good. Like, I don't have a good eye. So that's why, like, when he tells me, like, what do you want? I, was, I literally just tell him, like, just, I trust you. Just make something, right? And like I feel like that's more work for him because he has to come up with the ideas if I yeah, don't have yeah, any yeah. like guiding <laughs> thought process. But 
he doesn't disappoint. He does a good job. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's true. Yeah. yeah, I think the eye is a, a big part, like you said, because it's like yeah. it's one thing to be able to use the programs and like you know yeah. cut things, put things together, and stuff like that. But it's a whole different things to know like well these colors are clashing. You know this particular mm. font just doesn't look good on this background. Yes. You know all these things yeah. are. I, I wouldn't say more important, but I would personally say they're more important because I also personally I look at things from a like user perspective so mm -hmm. you know if ever i'm like you know if ever he's like oh what do you think of this yeah i'm looking at it from the perspective of like i'm a fan i'm looking at this what is the first thing my eye is drawn to right yeah um mm -hmm. and those are the things that he can really emphasize where it's like okay well your eye is drawn to the most important things and it's getting all the data without it feeling like you know too overwhelming so yeah um no it looks good though i love it i, I love that it combines both the official tournament format and mm -hmm. the official ending ranking of gbl right obviously the data is like not as i mean they're official but like you know it does take some groundwork legwork and uh, yeah. right now it's only seasons 4 to 15 man i'm waiting for that season 2 to drop because <laughs> that was my highest placement at number 2 right i think i had a pretty <laughs> oh is that what you're missing then is <laughs> no is no that that's not what i'm missing though i miss i mean yes i am missing like a top like 5 oh you got a top GBL 10 is there a top 5 there is a do, top five, do, I think. Yeah. Do you top five badge? Top okay, five. okay. Yeah. I think so. Think. Well, we could just look at like Wadaj as an example then. <laughs> if, uh, well, I, if I was, I was going to click on Fresno sure and one. check out Elite. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> good. Yeah. Yeah. There's a, there's a top five. Yeah. Um, okay. So, wait. Oh, my gosh. That's wild. You already have the 2024 Worlds Qualified Badge, too? I was looking at Wadash. He yeah, already yeah, has yeah. a badge for qualify for Worlds. I was yeah, like, why does he have yeah. three Worlds ones? That's nuts. Yeah. All right. This is, the, this is the thing I have a gripe on. Mm. Are you looking at Wadash's page or someone someone's pages? I'm on or Elite's page, inadequate, yeah. maybe. Okay. Okay. So should I, should I Elite's go page, on... right? Okay. No, no, no. It's fine. There's a badge with a bullseye on it with a bunch of arrows, right? What's oh, okay. Elite doesn't have this. Yeah, yeah. That's the three times Wait, Elite doesn't cut. have it either? No, no. Because it's three times top cut. Oh, it's what, what do you think times? that badge was? Yeah, yeah, that's they, why it's just a top cut badge. No, no, what you think everyone top cut and get that badge? No, bro. Well, they just I asked inadequate what his what it was because I saw on his yeah. and he said it's it's a top cut badge. And I was like, well, I top cut twice and yeah, I don't have that badge like three time top cut. Yeah, oh, you so gotta specify that, man. <laughs> Wait, is that not? Yeah, specified? well, he has a bunch right. of arrows on his. Yeah, I mean, so does what Wait, when you hover over the badge, it, it says, doesn't specify. Uh, does it not? Oh, wait. Let me. Let me. Just it just says top cut how many times, but it doesn't say that it has to be three uh, top cuts minimum, right? Uh, okay, let's see. So, a mind joke is like a good, th good no. It says too, look right? three top, top eight finishes at play events in a single season. Yeah, because You're not even he finished over three it, times. What, what, what do you, you mean? Want, wait, wait a, mind, about, a mind joke doesn't even have a mind joke doesn't even have one. No, wait, wait, wait. wait. Yo. Okay, let's. You're, I, I think you're bugging, bro. But let, wait, let me see. What mind am I bugging joke, on? I, I don't know what the metric is, but okay. Here, look, look, look. Me... You, hover. Okay, okay. So a mind joke doesn't because the arrows one, right? change. There's more arrows for every top cut. Because look, a mind, a mind joke doesn't joke, have any. A mind joke he top, top cut it twice. He top cut it twice last season. Malmo is it top eight or Liverpool. is it top? So it depends on the it... tournament, right? But if it's like, uh, oh, it depends what top, top cut is in it. So it's either top eight or top sixteen. If it's over uh, 128, then it's top 16. But if it's below, then it's top 8. So a mind joke only top cutted twice last season. Wait, okay. Um, but an adequate's top cutted five times. Okay. You only top cutted well, twice. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know he did. Yeah. <laughs> but so, I, it doesn't say, it doesn't say, I'm, I'm scrolling over with Dodge. It says five top eight finishes at play events in a single season. Yeah. It doesn't say that you need three, at least three. <laughs> what are you on about, bro? What do you mean? I I I want a bullseye with two arrows in it. What do you mean? You don't get one with two <laughs> arrows. We don't give those out. Why not? How hard is it to throw on two arrows? You have like it's not hard, but then we have to give one first. Five arrows. Yeah, that's five. Yeah, get five, and then you can you, have one. I, I, there, are there that many more people that top cut twice in one season? Yeah. Well, I mean, there's a. I mean, in one season. Look, when you go down to twice, yeah, then people are going to be like, yo, but what about me once? I guess they already got that. Okay, well, okay, but, he, but 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 he, he, well, yeah, but there's a top, there's a top eight badge, right? The top six. I mean, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. honestly, top cut once, I think that's worthy too. Here's the thing.
You got you got to think about it this way, Anacor. What if <laughs> you're in ahead. a region? What if you're in a region that only has one tournament? What if you're in like Malaysia? You can only go to your one. You can never get this badge. Yeah, it's unfortunate. So it's, well, it, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, it's unfortunate. Yeah. 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 What happened to equity? That, right. What happened to the quality? <laughs> hey, bro, that's on the Pokemon company, isn't what it? Is, what does Draco <laughs> stand for? What do you mean you, these badges are from you all? You could die on a single arrow. A single arrow in a box that looks pretty good too. They don't tell me the badge don't look good, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah look, bro. Uh, honestly, you think Yodana's going to complain that yeah. he only has one arrow in his because he he won the Taiwan one? And that's the only one he went to. No, I'm sure he appreciate that. Uh, look, look, look. Honestly, also, it I'm a champion uh, the thing of more. The badge doesn't specify. It does specify, bro. Are you not hovering over it? Look, five top eight finishes at play events in a single season, yeah? He has the badge with five yeah. bullseyes on it, yeah? He I know. Where have does the... it specify that you need at least three? Well, on the badge with three bullseyes on it. It, it says, says three. three. Yeah. yeah. And so, of course, if you're Nobody me, has you're thinking, four. well, I'm going to go to my badge <laughs> and look for the one with two on it. <laughs> What do you mean? Yeah, well, I'm telling you right now, this is information that's not public. How would people know that you need at least three to get this badge? Honestly, I think you're the only person who's brought this up. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm the first. I'm the first one. Yeah. I won't be the but last you know one after this podcast. I'm not going to lie. I think Inadequance actually should get... He should get a five badge. Because I think that world should count. And that makes it Lil, oh. Stuttgart, EUIC, Hartford, and Worlds. Yeah, if because I think Worlds is in top eight, uh, as in yeah, it's technically top eight because it's under one twenty eight. But I guess it depends on how we think about it. Cut, but like right? personally, yeah, personally, I feel like the oh, no, when it went right? to it was, yeah when it went to top thirty two for Worlds, even though it's not strictly because we're measuring it by like the tournament size, right? But I think because they made Worlds a top thirty two day two, that it should probably count. It should still count. Um, yeah, I think so. I think so. That, that's a it's a good point that like I hadn't thought about before. So we might uh, we might discuss that and see. I think it should count. Yeah, I think that that is like a relatively clear day two, and that's kind of what we're basing it on as well. It's like day two. I but yeah, we're not gonna make it too too balls. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> maybe if you lobby enough. Maybe if you lobby enough, then they'll change it. But as I. I, I don't have that much uh, input into I, I like, think, you know. No, no, that's fine. I think you need to specify then. Bro, specify what, to... bruv? It says three. Look, three top eight finishes. Minimum of three. It doesn't say minimum of three. You don't have the arrow. You don't have the badge. So obviously you didn't. Yeah, you yeah. So I think, it's a, <laughs> I think it's a website error. What do you mean? What's, what's the confusing part? You don't understand with this logic I, at the court. There's I, nothing I think... on there that says that you need a minimum of three top cuts. And, <laughs> and so that's why I'm bringing up to you right now. I'm I learning think you're that projecting you need a bags, top three. badges onto yourself. <laughs> It's terrible customer <laughs> service, man. I want to speak to your manager. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. But um, anyway, but anyway, is also yeah. it's in one season. That means I have to go to like I have to go to at least three tournaments in one season to get that badge. Now it's impossible, yeah, well, man. Yeah. This is a tough task. <sighs> I mean, not I don't everyone know what can play two bro, different continents know. like you can. You know, just go to all these tournaments and internationals, right? Do you know, what? I might get <laughs> them speaking to from give a, me a privileged mindset. <laughs> I might get like yeah, a little yeah. badge. You're gonna set yourself up with a world yeah. traveler badge, I bet, right? Yeah, bro. <laughs> Compete uh, in two different yeah. continents, two different regions. Uh, well, um, you know. Putting aside what uh, Caleb's been complaining about, everything's actually really good. Um, I hope everyone's going to enjoy looking at the profiles. Everything else is really also... good. Yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, you can download your season roundup image, um, which is going to yep. be cool at the end of the season just to see like you know, uh, what everyone's yep. done. Um, we're missing a bit of data for now. Uh, we're working like next couple weeks to fill in some of that. Basically, uh, obviously, like for example, with GBL data, so we've actually got seasons one to three. We'll just be uploading it um, in like a few days. Um, well, with yeah, the missing play two data, highest finish for me. <laughs> you'll get your if, top if, five. If, badge, if you uh, are, <laughs> yeah, yeah, if, yeah. If that badge is not on there next week, <laughs> you better, you better, you better come, you better come prepared with some answers, right? 
before we start recording, <laughs> you better look me up and see see if you need <laughs> to have a, re- a like an uh, explanation for me already. Yeah, because you know that's gonna be the first thing week. I bring up, yeah. right? After- <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> He's different now. I need I need speed yeah, yeah. sheet board now. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. So um, yeah, with the with some of the play data, uh, it's like for example, so twenty twenty two, the um. RK9 was only used from worlds onwards. So before that, Team Reg wasn't, I think it wasn't through RK9. It might have been like either manual sheets or like some other system. I can't remember properly now, but um, it's not like readily available like that. So we'll be making some top cut data for those um, as sort of like a, you know, an interim solution. Um, and equally a similar thing with, for example, the Mexico special event or the Mexico uh, qualifiers. So we contacted the, um, the group that was organizing it, but they never got back to us with full team sheets. So that is also going to be a case of we'll do top cut. But what I'm thinking people can do is, um, you know, once we're done with all the top cut data of the ones that are a bit more difficult to get, um, you know, if there's any people from those particular communities who want to crowdsource the data, um, then, you know, if you perform this crowdsourcing, so let's take Mexico City, for example, if you manage to collect up all 256 teams from Mexico City, then we can work on importing that. But for now, the most we can do is top cut without, you know, having a stack of official data, right? Um, mm-hmm. So... It's as much data as we have, but it's all the data that's available. Um, so it is yeah. still pretty comprehensive. Um, and yeah, some of the Asian ones are missing as well. Uh, similar reasons, like the the data format's a bit different. So we kind of have to like manually input a lot of these. So yeah. Okay. But yeah, cool. fun, uh, fun stuff. Very, very fun. I mean, yeah, yeah, bro. I'll, people love like, badges. Jokes aside, like, I'm, not, I'm not that mad about the badges. Okay. I would like a two bullseye one because <laughs> hey, make the top cut twice. You see that uh, picture it, of can, um, you can, Dexter? Where you can make like... it up for me if you, you can make it up for me if you want to oh. do like a grand finals appearance, right? Two times grand final or more appearance. I get, I get, yeah, I really can, just I can uh, settle with that. Look how specific he's being <laughs> just, with the with the badges. Yeah, just like yeah, thinking of you, scenarios you that is... occur to him. <laughs> I'm not ever getting back to that point again. I want to right? only Californian uh, regionals badge. Yeah, yeah <laughs> went to all I the Californian so, yeah. regionals. <laughs> I'm the California prince. <laughs> like, second place is my jam. <laughs> I only got. Oh. I, I I can't compete as much. You know, I got I got to take what I can get. Uh, but no joke aside, it's, it's it's amazing, and I'm laughing at myself right now because I'm looking at my GBL performance and. Mm. If only I knew something like this would exist one day, I probably would have tried harder, right? I'm scrolling <laughs> down the seasons. Like some of these seasons, yeah. I am just not trying at all, right? I'm in like the 55th, 56th percentile, whereas last season I was in the 6th percentile, right? Like clearly yeah. I have the yeah. capability to perform better, right? But mm. I was just like screwing around and just like, you know, whatever. <laughs> like it's GBL. It's, there's no yeah. record of this, right? Except for JGN's unofficial sheets, right? And yeah. like, yo, shout out to JGN too, right? A great a lot of data that he tracked for years. Mm-hmm. I definitely was one of those people that didn't take it seriously. I wasn't like the kind of person who was like, yeah, I want to be on JJ's data sheet for like the longest time on a leaderboard or first place finish every season. Like I remember Wall was a big one, like trying to finish mm-hmm. every season on the first page or something. Right. And like, he was like a big grinder of GBL on that. I just never cared about it. But now maybe more recent too. Yeah. I also but, can never get first yeah. place in anything. Never got first in GBL and got second <laughs> global rank. Never could get first in get in play Pokemon stuff. So <laughs> I got some stuff to work towards, right? I yeah. I'm not ambitious. I'm not trying to win worlds. I just want I just want that first place badge, you know. Yeah. Two first place badges I'm missing. Uh <laughs> but we'll speak on that yeah, too as true, we get to true. GBL cuz uh that first place batch might be coming sooner than later, you know. I'm just saying, yeah. Hey, I gotta look up your pro- player profile now. You know, we're, we're talking about mine. Right? Let's, just, let's take a look <laughs> at your badges. Right? Yeah, what, I'm what not. I'm not here? super proud of mine, but I I know yeah, I, nice. I like that it exists because I'm like, okay, I got work to do. You know, yeah, I got work to do. Yeah, where's mine? Oh, I like the international badge a lot. That pink one. I just never yeah. been able to compete at international. I commented it, which again, yeah, I'm super grateful true. for, and I'd rather do that any day. But it's nice to have a. Hmm. Wait, you got top 16. Oh, OCIC, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were top 16 OCIC? You never made it on stream? Uh, I was on stream, yeah, twice. Yeah. Did I come to your battles? 
Maybe, I don't know. I, I haven't actually watched it back, I'm not going to lie, but <laughs> oh, uh, maybe. Because I was playing against You're Jakobovic in the better. winner's finals. Um, and then I played someone before. What do you mean, the winner's Oh, 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 oh I didn't Of the I group didn't stage. That one. Okay, yeah, yeah. Group yeah. stage, okay. Yeah. Oh, so you got swept. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like I'm not going to lie, like it was a, it was a very bad uh, team comp decision for me. I, I like sent out some dumb ABA. And I was yeah. so close, bro. Do you know how many like backflips and stuff I had to do, yeah, to come back from a um, Medicham into training? Wait, you league, ran the yeah? same team too. <laughs> I ran the same team twice, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. We both yeah. ran the same team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I like, yeah. I was literally doing so the most So you just got outplayed. Yeah. <laughs> bro, yeah. you know what? It was the worst part, yeah. I was like, I was so convinced. I, I was like, myself. oh, I'm about to turn this around, yeah. And this was like game one. Yeah. And I like, I did something like I had to like catch a an earthquake from his g-fist or something like that basically it got down to like it was my what was it it was my umbreon versus his g-fist yeah i've got like one or two shields yeah but he baits me with a rock slide at the beginning <laughs> of that matchup yeah? yeah and i was like what kind of soul read is this yeah what like that's <laughs> such a risky bait because if that goes through that's pretty much it do you know what I mean? Like, if I let that yeah. bait go, yeah, that's it. That's my game, yeah. Yeah. But I shielded but it, it obviously, and then and then it was his game. I was like, that's yeah, insane. you made his Such you made his end stat move. better. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> could have been the second person to take a point off of him. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, again, <laughs> been you know, you. like you yeah. could have been the only OCIC <laughs> champion in the world. You were in the same team too, right? <laughs> like, you know, that could have right? been you. Yeah. Wait, yeah, well, uh, wait. So that was the game that was on stream. What was the other one? Yeah, was the other that? game was I think uh, one match before that, um, oh. and it was like I GKC? think like the winners semi GK or something Chief. like that. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I don't think um, I commented that one because there's a Bassy on that one, and I probably would have pointed that out. Yeah, I think uh, honestly, I, I was pretty that. lucky in that last game. To be honest, um, they uh, game oh, three dude, you they two did different a... Bastion players in the tournament. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. Yeah, they did a uh, I switch, you switch on game three, and they kind of messed up. Oh, uh, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to watch that back. That's what I know I'm going to do later. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Uh, bit of... Uh, no, nah, I'm not even, not even going to give context. I, I, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, I need to stop doing that. Um, but it's you know what? It's, uh, it's nice to see because it's like, I want to I wanna get more badges. And also, same with GBL. Yeah. Like, I have zero GBL data because I never really... Yeah, you literally have zero GBL um, badges. Wait, have you never been yeah. on the leaderboard? Wait, you, you, you've never no, been on the leaderboard ever? Leaderboard. No, this I'm man signed up to be a legend <laughs> bet against me. He's never on the leaderboard? Yo, talk about ambitious. Yeah, bro. Talk hey, you know what? Ambitious. Honestly, I'll I tell you what, yeah. I'll tell you what, yeah. <laughs> when I, when right. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> But lose another co host soon. <laughs> you know what? When I'm when I'm setting these things, yeah, yeah, I'm like, like I said, yeah, I got a lot of belief, yeah, but also yeah. I'm thinking about the other side, yeah. So obviously, you know, what's the worst case scenario? Yeah, the worst case scenario. Oh no, I have to eat the chip, yeah. But <laughs> but no no no, yeah. it's a crisp. The crisp. The yeah, I have to eat the crisp. <laughs> hey, I rate that. I rate that. Yeah, well done. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you're learning. Um, but. I've also been kind of like forced to, you know, like keep up my playing ability and not get lazy. So in my opinion, yeah. that's still a win. So, you know, um, uh, you know, I don't mind that, you know. I'm glad you think of that way. You know, we can keep these competitions yeah. up, right? <laughs> I'm glad you think of it yeah. that way. <laughs> hey, hey, you know what? Yeah, if I, if I lose this uh, legend bet, yeah, but win Brisbane, I'll take that. I mean... You know, you know what we should do for the next. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell my RuneScape story. I don't mind. Like, like Forster <laughs> yeah. says, I don't mind. I was gonna say in a fifty weeks, anyways. Um, <laughs> so you know, um, what we should do for next season. Uh huh. Next season, when we do a legend bet, the loser mm. should have like a recurring punishment for every subsequent <laughs> week they can't hit the legend. <laughs> <laughs> to really put the gas foot on. Because I think that was the problem when, when me and Speedy made a bet. Yeah. Once I hit Legend, he was like just chilling. He'd be I yeah, feel like he yeah, was hitting yeah. Legend on the last day possible for like two, three seasons in a row, right? He kept mm. like I would tune in the stream. He's like, Oh, hitting Legend on the last day. I'm like, How are you always hitting Legend on the last day? Right. But you're just chilling, right? He's laid back, he's yeah. like, whatever, the race is over. I'm like, I am just gonna, you know, cut my losses, right? Mm. Short, whatever, but or not even that. Just uh, you know losses, what? I'm but, down for that, yeah, for the same reason. Yeah, yeah. 
for the same right, reason right, yeah like job. you know what yeah because honestly yeah it's only yeah. gonna work in hot my benefit chris week one, at the end of the day two yeah. hot chris <laughs> week two three hot chris yeah, we know the three. limit is 13 so <laughs> yeah yeah so, <laughs> we're all good so there's only so many weeks yeah. in a gpl <laughs> season right so yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. All, right, yeah all right well we'll do that for this season because um i don't think you'll want to once we get to eat little reveal let's just Let's just put it that way. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just <laughs> right, um, anyway, awesome player profile stuff uh, mm-hmm. from the Dracovis um, people. So definitely check that out and uh, just go to dracovis.com uh, and then they'll have a player profile thing on the banner there. Uh, yeah. But we got some of, we have one event coming up. It's the Detective Pikachu event. Is there a new Detective Pikachu like? movie coming out or something i think something? it's a game i think it's a game oh uh, okay because i was like yeah, i don't remember seeing yeah. a movie uh yeah. like it also it like kind of worked better as like a one-off movie i think but um, yeah so they're yeah. yeah so the tech the pikachu is coming back um so in the wilds uh this is october 5th to october 9th uh so pikachu wearing detective hat is in the wilds uh slowpoke wearing a hat is in the wilds so detective hat. that's kind of a wild one uh below mm-hmm. executor extra stardust um, shout out to my teammate, uh, Chaotic Ace, who needs still a hundred percent magic card. He's been playing since day one and still doesn't have one. So <laughs> hopefully he gets one. He built like a rank, like he he built an eighty nine percent IV Gyarados for Master League once for factions. He's like, yeah, that I'll step in wild, for Cochino Mom for this week, right? That I got this. And I was like, I was like, yo, I was like, you about to spend two hundred like ninety six <laughs> XLs on in all this dust on an eighty nine percent magic card for Bro, That's not even that much better than like an Ultra League magic. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> so yo, the, like literally, yeah. we'll be like, yo, they got Mega Gyarados race here. You want one, Carlos? Right? He's like, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Right? He's like, yo, y'all keep. I keep catching strays, but he still needs it. Uh, they got bronze horse spawning, so if you want a little cup, everything That's else not really that rough. And failing. Chai Mecho is nice. Not- Chai Mecho is nice to a dust, yeah. yeah, yeah. But Blossom too. Blossom and Zatu as well. Yeah. Double, uh, second stage of which. Yeah. Dust oh, uh, well, I guess it doesn't matter too much um, because. So I'll be in Peoria this weekend to commentate for the mm-hmm. tournament, but. Um, the spawns event spawns won't be this, <laughs> so it doesn't matter. I was gonna yeah, say the Stardust yeah, bonus, right? Yeah, I mean, there yeah. might be they still have some, get like event spawns. Yeah, but that's fine. I'll take I'll take my more Carpink XLs. Um, mm-hmm. and then Phalanx is spawning, which honestly is not that super useful. It's a single yeah. type fighting, but it has like interesting coverage. Like it's just bugging. It's just another bug fighting one. Yeah. Um, wait, is it bug? No, it's pure fighting, right? Yeah, it's yeah, pure it's fighting, pure fighting, but it's a I bug. Mega one. No, Why is bug. it not a bug? Oh, it's like straight up a bug. Well, well maybe feelings. it's a bunch of little. Yeah, it doesn't no, look it's like, like a bunch of little. It's a little, little, little soldiers. Little bug soldiers. Uh, they ain't I mean, human soldiers, small, right? right? Well, yeah, no, no, of course they're not human soldiers. Well, exactly. Well, so, what kind of soldiers are they? Little bug soldiers, right? Oh, well, uh, they. Yeah, yeah. it's no, um, they're just like little. They're little guys, you know. Just little guys. Yeah, they're known as the brass. Oh, they don't really look that tough, but hey, <laughs> okay, maybe maybe they are bugs. They seem like yeah. bugs. They got bug moves. <laughs> anyway, um, I've been trying to build one for Ultra League for a while just for having the spice. So I, mm. I, I will take the XLs on that one, but I don't think it's really useful for much. Uh, field research, pseudo Udo, nothing crazy. You could use XLs or pseudo Udo in Ultra League or pseudo yeah. XL. Bro, do you XL know policy. how many? Yeah. Do you know how many pseudo Udo? Oh, I think you know. I think this is why I like have no space in my. I've got like a hundred pseudo Udos. Just sitting there because I'm hoping like someone can like mirror and uh, I can get. Uh, like, you're trying to hope for the mirror, or you're hoping yeah, for too yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ain't no one else hunting. Who, who <laughs> out there? Let me know, right? Let me know if you're listening. Please. Who else out there in the world is hoarding over a hundred pseudo wudo to mirror trade? <laughs> Hey, hopefully you're gonna be holding on to 100 pseudo wudo to the grave. Like that's that's stuff that is not going. Like you're not gonna find that many. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Even I'm no. not going that many pseudo Yeah, I yeah. stopped going for these mirror XL trades because it's just like, yeah, unless it's like something yeah. really rare, right? Like a female Salandit or something, or yeah. maybe a Volibee. Like it just, just trade what you need XLs it's for at this yeah, point. Because it's very rare that people are also going to have it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the event. You know, some other bonuses yeah. like extra two times XC or spinning Pokestops, like nothing crazy. But, a bit average to me. Um, so. Yeah, it's good Stardos. I mean, it's good for like the people that like costume Pokemon, the shiny stuff. Because you get shiny Slowpoke and Pikachu wearing Detective Hat, which is kind of nice. Yeah, but, but you can't evolve the Slowpoke. 
which is a bit of a shame. Oh, it doesn't look like. Oh, you it. can't. No, uh, they got oh, a little asterisk next to the Pikachu where you can evolve it, but they didn't specify on the Slowpoke, so I'm assuming maybe not. No, no, the asterisk means you can obtain Raichu. Oh yeah, never mind. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's exactly what it says. <laughs> 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 you're right. Yeah, you probably can't evolve the Slowpoke. Yeah, I, I didn't read. Um, good to know. But maybe one day, right? Maybe one mm-hmm. day. So yeah, there's that. Um, but that's it for the events, uh, upcoming events for this week. Um, we also have a recent thing that's been going around the market. Now Van Gogh mm-hmm. Pikachu. Anakor mm-hmm. wanted to talk about this, so take it away. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it was originally a joke, but like, you know what? <laughs> oh, I didn't know. Um... I put it in the chat. How would I know it's a joke? <laughs> He said, bro, <laughs> we got to talk about that, man, Goop. Pikachu. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, you got oh, you it. I'm going to throw on the agenda. Yeah. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah. No, yeah. What did you anyway. say exactly? Let me see um, what you said exactly. Cause, um, yeah, do you know what? I think, I, think I was carrying on the joke from like a different server. And I... No, no, no. Yeah, not in the server. server. Okay. Yeah. You, you said... you. S- well, I might not... I, I, I probably wasn't... Well, I didn't read into it. Like, that's like a five-layer oh, joke. Oh, right. Like, I'm, yeah, not, yeah. I'm not on the same layer as you, even if I saw it. I don't know you carry uh, on. You said, yeah, yeah. you said, I have many views on Van Gogh, and the love is blind Donnie. I don't even know what the reference is. Oh, oh, my days. You know what? Nah, you know... Uh, okay, I'm not going to lie yeah, bruv. This was... Wait, did I send this to you by DM? You did, yeah. Yeah, oh, ago. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, technically it's true, What's yeah. But, um... I uh I'm not gonna lie, this was after the wedding, yeah. It was like three in the morning, so uh <laughs> let's just oh, say you're um, drunk texting me now? <laughs> I see how it is. <laughs> Look, it's an honor, but like <laughs> of all the people and things you can be drunk texting, like this is not what I hey, thought. Uh, <laughs> But for me, it was like 7 p.m. So I was like, oh, no big deal. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But I didn't even think about it. Um, that said, though, you know what? While we're on the topic, <laughs> yeah, let me let me just uh, let me, let's let's do a bit of a, a bit of a Pokemon expansion. Yeah. Okay. So, Van Gogh okay. Pikachu. Yeah. Um, you know, some of you guys may have seen it. Um, you got a yeah. free it's promo on the screen card right now for, for the YouTube every... listeners. Yeah. So you got a free promo card for all the uh, any order you made from the Pokemon Center. Or if you were in Amsterdam and you were at the Van Gogh Museum, I don't know if it's, I'm just going to say go, um, museum, then uh, you could also get it from there. Now, bruv, I saw videos yeah, of bad people just scrambling and like it was, it was a yeah. battlefield out there. Yeah. And you know what the thing is, mm-hmm. is so, you know, in another past life, I used to be a personal shopper. Um, and I would see people do what? similar things. What kind of like? For... You, I swear, you've had like so no, many like so many different lives. jobs. I've literally, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> but you're not even that old. You're younger <laughs> than me. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've just done uh... loads of things. Um, but um, yeah, yeah. So basically, I used to see this like quite a lot, right? And um, the th- there would often be um. You know, a lot of people who were, you know, genuinely interested in the product would often complain and be like, mm-hmm. you know, this is really unfair. People are like buying it to sell it, you know, give it to the people who actually want it. Da, da, da. Now, obviously, I understand that sentiment, but I feel like there's uh, an extra layer, which I personally would like people to understand because um, I think it gives like a bit of balanced perspective and it kind of applies to other things in life. Right. But um I think the fault is not necessarily on the people who are going to buy and sell these, but rather the um, organizers who are allowing it so that these people can buy nine or 10 or 15, right? Because they can very easily make a once one per person sort of restriction, right? They do that. They did that at all the world's Pokemon centers where they had, you know, like a one per person restriction. Um, and, you know, that way you can curb these kinds of things a bit better, right? Um, so by not doing that, that just sort of, you know, shows that you have very, very little foresight. You have very little knowledge about the product you're about to release as well. Um, and also it's like, you know what? Can you blame the people who are trying to make some money out of it? Because honestly... If you saw five hundred pounds on the floor outside, you're you're gonna pick it up. Do you know what I mean? In it, yeah, really and truly. And this is almost the equivalent of five hundred pounds on the floor, essentially for them. They're like, well, all I have to do is get in line and get. Wait, in how there. much is a pound in in USD? 
like let's say about like one dollar fifty or something like that you know um oh that's what a pound is okay yeah yeah i I don't know if these are actually going for 500 pounds i don't know um but i'm just saying like you know if you see free money on the floor yeah you'd be thinking the same thing right um wait i got a question for you have you ever scalped uh, anything yourself yeah 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 yeah. oh okay okay yeah yeah like very very openly yeah yeah. (laughs) but um another another thing is interestingly though is that like and this is a perspective that i used to have um sometimes um the distribution of something is limited enough where it's difficult for people who are actually uh into the product to actually get access for and some people may be happy to pay a bit more to actually get access to it right so i've been in the position so many times where there's like a very specific thing that i'm really into okay there was this pair of insta pumps yeah that released in china yeah it was a china exclusive bruv shopping in china is already difficult for someone who's not in china right yeah i can't read chinese i don't know what i'm doing yeah um but in addition yeah even after the release it was so difficult for me to even pay um a resell amount for the pair because it was all in china and how, and what, what do I do? How <laughs> yeah. do I how do I find a Chinese seller? Like, what am I supposed to do? Do you know what I mean? In it, yeah. So I physically couldn't even pay extra money to get it, and I really liked it, and it was amazing. But I I did just didn't have that opportunity. Do you know what I mean? In it, um, nor did I have the opportunity to actually potentially put in some like hours, man hours, to maybe you know go to the store and like you know wait in line for quite a while because again it was in a different country. So I think obviously there's a you know scalpers are easy targets yeah for like you know to blame them um but honestly if the scalper wasn't buying nine someone who actually could have been bothered to go to the store who's interested in it would have got it and not you who was sitting at home expecting to just rock up on a wednesday and do you know i mean and like walk in and buy your van gogh pikachu just like really comfortably do you know what i mean in it you know that was never going to be the situation yeah and i think a lot of people kind of like wish that that was the case but it could have been the situation if pokemon released more units but then again whose fault is that is that you know the scalpers fault or is that pokemon's fault so that's what i had to say on that that topic uh, mm. just a different perspective on these sorts of activities you know like i do i i just i i, I don't I, the reason I don't I don't often like those uh, takes of like you know it's the um, like the people selling its um, fault and the money hungry and stuff like that is because I feel like both the consumer and them are sort of on the same level, yeah, and like having them fight each mm-hmm. other just seems really it seems like you're ignoring the real problems. Do you know what I mean? You know, um, if if Pokemon yeah. wanted there to be more they would, you know, make more and they should have done that, you know. If the Van Gogh Museum actually organized the system better, then everyone could have at least, you know, just done, you know, uh, buy one and then, you know, go on and it. So, yeah. There's my... It, um, it's kind of like a disconnect where you're, like, the manufacturer is underestimating the demand for the supply, mm-hmm. right, they have. Mm-hmm. Cause they're not really they're not benefiting from scalpers buying this and then selling it at premium rates. Because yeah. if anything, that's a PR nightmare for them because they're getting all the backlash too, right? Yeah, the scalpers getting backlash, but they're a bunch of nobodies. Like, like they don't act, they're not actually brands or corporations, right? People are just upset with the Pokemon company. And then I feel bad for whoever's running the socials for this because they had to tweet out apologies <laughs> on like the lack of supply and yeah, stuff. And like, yeah. and then people are chewing them out in the comments and like, I'm just doing my job. I'm just typing, typing here on Twitter and Instagram. I, I, didn't, I didn't set the parameters for the manufacturing thing. The thing I did notice though is the Pokemon brand is just too strong. It is literally <laughs> like, like Pokemon is not ever going away right my parents yeah. were always be because i'm a full-time content creator right and they're like what if pokemon fails one day like what are you going to do for <laughs> you're like, like, nah, bro. i was like <laughs> look i mean one i could it's not like i didn't do like other jobs before this right yeah. i have i still have two degrees right i have, I have like a graduate degree and everything Oof, I still go back two. into it but yeah, so trust me it's a waste of money <laughs> you, you like stopping I mean, it I mean, too no 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 stay in school kids and whatever right but 
for what I do right now, I did not need a bachelor's or a master's <laughs> for that stuff, right? I mean, it, it was helpful. It, cha- it definitely shaped how I think and stuff. So I wouldn't say I probably wouldn't be the same person without it. But uh, for from an actual education standpoint, that's not needed for this job. But but I was telling my parents, it's like the Pokemon company is not running out of money. <laughs> they're not yeah. i mean they, they, this is it's literally like a travel sport right these play pokemon events it costs a lot of money and now people know because now you need championship points now you know you can't do one and done right to yeah. to qualify for world tour to get that travel war which we'll talk about later but oh yeah, yeah. Uh, but there you got parents bring their kids to these events and these kids will bring their kids like it's a generational product now spanning multiple generations it is here to stay and you could tell just from a freaking van gogh pikachu right this van gogh pikachu yeah. doesn't even do yeah. much for tcg right? it's Rough. not even that good of a no. car <laughs> but the novel the the, the the limited supply the uniqueness of it and everything is what does it so mm-hmm. yeah that's uh yeah sideway but anyway that was cool though i mean let's go to see I, I personally am not a big collector myself so i don't have strong feelings yeah, about same. it but i do feel bad for people that definitely really wanted it um yeah, it is unfortunate, but again, I think like some people um, would have kind of lost out in that situation because there were definitely people who wanted it and was willing to put in the work required to get it. Yeah, so yeah. for them people, I do uh, I do feel bad for. But then equally, there's also some people who really expected it to just sort of land at their doorstep. Um, yeah. And honestly, if you've got that attitude to anything, yeah, then... Good luck, have fun. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. But the second thing, yeah. And bets, you uh, hey. Luck have fun. <laughs> hey, but I'm yeah, work putting work. in the work. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. What, what was uh, the yeah, second uh, thing? Uh, okay. All right, so <laughs> <laughs> the love is blind on you, yeah. Brav, yeah. brav. So I, I see this tweet, yeah, um, early in the week, and um, it's this one VGC player, and he's um, taking a little screenshot of um a description of a love is blind episode and it's talking about like a, a professional pokemon player yeah and he's like oh i can relate to that and i was like Yo, yep. that's yeah yeah love is blind's so a I... netflix show i watch every episode by the way oh do you actually <laughs> do you yeah no nah, no nah, enter- I, I just watched this one season particularly <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. so entertaining it's so good it's terrible relationships honestly the more you watch it the more you realize love is not blind <laughs> like yeah, they're yeah, proving yeah, the opposite point like a lot of these couples that get married like get divorced within a year but um yeah. but anyway yeah yeah okay, okay so, so this guy yeah yeah. yeah yeah this guy okay so his first of all so I, uh, milton milton yeah so i googled yeah. milton yeah and i was like okay what's this about yeah and first of all let me just say that one of the one of the results i found was a news article um and they were like yeah milton is a professional pokemon go player yeah and I was like, uh-huh. bro, that's so typical, yeah, like, go. people, yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. But yeah. it's, it's like such typical, like, uh, not do their person who doesn't know anything about Pokemon. And they're like, well, okay, anything that's Pokemon must be Pokemon Go. Um, yeah. Now it's just Sloppy like a small, journal. like, yeah, yeah, t- yeah, terrible. But anyway, I couldn't find anything, um, like, substantial. All I found on, I didn't watch the show in it. So I didn't realize that he actually was discussing, like, Pokemon on the show. Um, Only and I went on to this. He like, literally just said, he, it was just like, it was his future, like, fiance, right? They were dating okay, in the yeah, pods, yeah. right? It's, like, literally blind dates. There's there's a wall between them. They're talking, right? It's about, like, yeah. you know, removing the physical aspect and trying to be attractive for who they are. And he's just like, I'm a big nerd, by the way, you know, just to let you know. He's, like, some, like, he's, like, some type of engineer. He's, like, studies rocks or whatever. Um, but anyway, okay. he said, yeah, like, in my free time, like, I'm a professional Pokemon player, too, right? He essentially was, like, a VGC, okay. Okay. right? Okay, or or yeah, he's, like, yeah. I, I don't remember if he said professional. I think he did Appar- say professional. Yeah. But he doesn't even play in the official format. He plays um smoke. Ram bats on showdown. Or, or, yeah, showdown, showdown, yeah. Yeah. He plays showdown. So it's not, it's not the official so format. Bro, he this plays is the online. part, yeah. So like a few days later, yeah, this guy was getting cooked. Yeah. Okay. So basically they found his showdown username. That's what he gets. <laughs> and, and this guy's Elo, yeah. People were just like rinsing him on his Elo because apparently it was like not even high enough to be sort of like a like an average player do you know what i mean in it yeah like yeah he is a ranked player but he is the lowest ranked possible yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know what the worst part was yeah even the even pokemon showdown themselves did a deep uh-huh. dive into his elo and what it means <laughs> yeah that was like bro. Yeah, they were like bro. he is technically ranked but he is ranked 700 thousandth in the u.s i was like bro. <laughs> 
<laughs> I didn't have to do that bottom one percentile. <laughs> Oh, they actually cooked him. That's so That's peak. like I don't get people that go on these reality TV shows and think that this is not going to happen. Like, how do you not watch enough reality TV shows to not realize like what you're going to say? People are going to double fact check it, right? Hundred percent. Like you know what I mean? he could have been fine if he just said, "Yeah, I'm a big nerd. I play Pokemon Showdown with my friends and stuff." No one would exactly. said anything, right? Uh, you know, if you know anything, would have been good. Some people, some people probably would have still looked up his ranking and stuff and be like, "Oh, he's not that good," but he never said he was good, right? So some people, like yeah, exactly. some, like, like some bullies would probably still like make fun of him for that. But overall, people are going to be like, "Whatever." But the fact that he hyped himself up so much and yeah. then <laughs> fell so short, <laughs> like yeah. I was like when I saw this, I was like, I, like when I was watching the show, I was like, "Man, have I seen this guy at like a regional or something?" Right? Like, like you know, maybe like playing at BGC inside. Right? I was like. Yeah. Like, you know, some of my caster friends that do VGC, they're like, yeah, I don't know this guy either, right? And and then we're going Discord group chats, and we're like, oh, like, this is who he is, right? <laughs> Wolfie tweeted oh, about man. it. Like, yeah, it was... bro, it was brutal. Uh, yeah, you know what? A small yeah. aside, yeah. Have you ever been on a reality TV show? Because I have a feeling that you would have. Wait, say again? Have you been on a reality say, TV say show? Say again? No, but I've had an opportunity to. And I declined it. Oh, what was it? Yeah. What was it? So, um, so it was actually when I was a kid. It was when I was like in high school or middle school. Uh, you remember the MTV? It was like an MTV series called True Life, I think. No, it's like where they that. covered like different like scenarios in life, like like True Life, like my mom's addicted to like like popping balloons or something, right? Or like, <laughs> wait, like, wait, what was like, yours? I like I'm obsessed with cars, right? Mine was supposed okay. to be like true life, or like the the life of like like a like a first generation like Asian kid or something, right? With like a <laughs> like a like a tiger mom, right? My mom's not that uh, much tiger mom, but she was like fairly strict, right? And because um, I created like some like Facebook group group thing that a lot of people joined, it was like mm-hmm. harping on a lot, of, like like growing up as like a like a first generation kid, like stereotypes, right? Especially mm-hmm. interacting with your parents. And I I got the email and everything. It was like legit. And I just was like, I don't know if I want like cameras following me around, filling my daily life, right? Like, and like me and my mom, like we weren't super close growing up, but we weren't like, like I feel like that would have just really, like, like you know, created yeah. a rift between us even more, right? Because like, true. like, like even if, if we had disagreements, one thing if it's like in our private life, but like for the whole world to see and the whole, I don't mm. want the whole world criticizing our relationship, right? Yeah, and, and we're true, true, we're true. on great terms now too and everything, but like at the time I was just like. I don't know if I want this like notoriety, right? And I was also like a big introvert back in high school and earlier. Like I wasn't really okay. very extroverted. Like, you know, I talked to my friends and stuff, and I'd be like, you know, crack jokes around them, but like I wasn't like in a new group setting, I wasn't like very outgoing. I was I, I used to be scared to order from Subway. You know Subway, right? The sandwich place. <laughs> because you had to tell me you're supposed to order what you want on the sandwich. Like you would be like, I want a number two, right? So I remember we went to Subway, me and my mom. You know, this is like when I was like elementary or middle school, right? My mom was like, uh, Tell me what you want. I was like, but can you just tell him? She's like, I don't know what you want in your sandwich, right? Like, there's a whole bunch of things. I was like, right, let's just go to McDonald's then, right? Just give me the fish fillet, right? <laughs> like, well, what do you tell like, him at McDonald's then if you if you couldn't tell him what you want? Well, it's easy because if I told at McDonald's, I just told my mom like get me a number two, right? Because she, she could get her order and I'd get oh, mine. Right. Right? She was like, I'll take you number two, number five, right, mm-hmm. or whatever. But at Subway, you have to say your specific order. My mom, I mean, I'm gonna be like, yo, lettuce, <laughs> and my mom say lettuce and tomatoes, tomatoes. Like she's not gonna do all that, right? Yeah. Anyway, um, so that was the only one. And then, uh, so speaking of Love is Blind, this is actually pretty funny. So I, mm. I, I actually started watching it back in the pandemic when it first, the first season came out. It was actually ba- based in Atlanta, which is where I was living at the time. Mm. And my ex, um, the person, my significant other at the time that I was dating, she wanted to watch it. And I wasn't really big into a lot of reality TV shows. I was like, meh. Whatever. What else we're gonna do during pandemic, right? Like we can't go anywhere. Let's, let's watch it. And I, I think like she was watching it, and then I mm-hmm. like I can't remember if I started watching it or she it was in the background, and, I, and then I just like lurked over, and I was like, wait, this is kind of good, right? But anyway, ever since then, ever since twenty twenty, <laughs> I've been watching like every season, right? And um, but when I moved wow. to LA a, a year ago, they had an application for people that are interested in the show specifically for LA. And my one of my friends that also watched the show, she sent to me. She's like, "You should apply to this." And I looked, and the application—it was a legit application. It was <laughs> super long. It was like 50, 60 questions. It was like oh, hundred yeah. questions. Like, you drop your social media. What are you looking for? Why you want to get there? Blah, 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 all the stuff, right? Uh, what are you into? Everything. And I was just like, I can't, I can't do it. 
So I, I passed up on that. I mean, Bruh, I could have applied. Showed up I might have had a. Ch- <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> Imagine that. Um, yeah, I mean, Pokemon Go community is pretty small. I feel like I don't even have to say nothing for people to recognize me, right? <laughs> for, for PvP purposes, yeah, at least, right? Um, yeah, yeah. If I if I may not show, I would have definitely blown up, right? Because these people they literally go on the show, and if they make it to mm-hmm. like the proposal area, even if they don't get married in the end, they leave and they get like sponsorship deals. Like they just quit their full time corporate jobs and they'll make six figures off of sponsorships, like wow. if if they if they play their cards right. Um, I don't. Like me personally, like I wouldn't do it just for the money. Like that's that's just not right, right? Like I wouldn't do it for that. But I just don't believe in the process that I'll meet like the love of my life, like to yeah, a wall, no. right? Like it's not even about like the physical appearance so much for me. It's more so like mm. everyone's putting on a good face. They so the situation of the show. We are so off topic about it, but the situation of the show is <laughs> you show up, right? There's like it's like let's just say have deck. It's like twenty men and twenty women or something like that. I don't know. And then they they have different like living quarters, right? All the guys live together, all the women live together, mm-hmm. and they go on dates, right? They go on like speed dates. They'll date like literally everyone on the other side, right? They'll like hop room to room, like kind of like speed dating, blind dating kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And they have up to ten days max. If they don't find a connection with anyone after a few days, they better just leave early, right? Like I'm not really connected with any of these girls. They're not connected with me, like whatever, right? If let's say like. Like you're connecting with someone, right? And be like, yo, I want to go on a second date with Jessica, right? And Jessica also wants to go on a second date with you. Then next thing you know, next day you both are in the same room again, right? You tell the producers who we want to okay. go date with, and those side will have little snacks in the rooms so or like, you know, like whatever. Wait, so what room. happens if you're like, I want to go with Jessica, and she doesn't say I want to go with you? What happens when you go into the room? Well, the the producer probably just like, no, she's not interested, and you're. Oh, you're, okay. Yeah, yeah, they won't. They'll they'll save you from Peak. going to the room for yeah, the most part. Yeah. Um. But you have a ten. They're in there for ten days max. Within ten days, you either leave, or you gotta propose to someone or get proposed to. Right? Yeah. Never seen. Them. Never seen them. Right? They give you a ring for a budget for a ring empty. You go ring shopping, or whatever. Right? But you never seen them. Entire proposal, bro. Proposal. You, they, once they say yes to proposal, you they there's like a like a walkway that they open doors and you meet for the first time. Now sometimes these people are like. You're the love of my life. I, they're already saying I love you and proposing, right? They're like, yeah, they're like yeah. excited. They're making out with each other. They're like, damn, like you look good, right? And then there's, of course, a lot of other oh, times man. <laughs> where they're like, damn, this guy's not my type at all, right? And you could tell what do the they do? The moment, the moment starts, right? They'll kind of still give a little peck, like a kiss, peck, whatever, you know. But you could, you could definitely tell from the body language that some people are not into, it, right? Some are, right? They're like grabbing the butt yeah. already and like really like going in there, right? Pick them up, like I can't wait to see you again, blah blah, right? And there's others where like they're not really getting along that well, but they still propose. And then the moment like this guy see like this having a previous season ago, he sees her. They're so different in beliefs, right? Completely different. She's like super religious. He's not at all, right? He's like, what? They didn't discuss She's, any of that stuff before. They did, but he thought he could make it work. I don't know. Uh, but there's just so many signs that they just didn't happen. He sees her. He's like, wow, she's so beautiful. Like, I'll do anything, right? He even ate meat for her, even though he's, like, vegetarian, right? He, like, eat, eat a piece of steak. I'm like, no, what? I, like, she, yo, well, the fact no. that she even, like, proposed that to compromise his, like, own, like, yeah, values. Yeah, yeah. She's like, you should it's eat wild. the steak anyway, yeah. right? But he was just wild. so blinded by how she looked that, like, he just couldn't even think straight afterward, right? Anyway, wow. the more the show goes on, like, the more it's just, like... <laughs> there's also drama, too, because... Like, let's say you get along with Jessica, right? Your, your homie in the, you know, in, in the other room, he be going for Jessica too, right? And it's like this love triangle. And let's say you win the love triangle, right? Uh-huh. But then, and he, and your, your buddy, you know, get engages to Emily, right? All of a sudden, after you, you meet up, you're all at this like honeymoon resort together. Right? Oh. It's, like, it's, like a, it's not really a honeymoon because you're not really engaged, but it's like a resort together. You're with your own specific people, but then you meet all the other couples and you're all hanging out. And there's alcohol everywhere, right? So people are drinking and stuff. And then you're with Jessica, and Jessica's like, Man, I'm kind of feeling that other guy, Chad, that I connect with, that I Yo, turned down his proposal, right? No. Then there's awkwardness because then they're like, kind of like, it's like murky grounds of like, Are they cheating? Are they emotion cheating? Right? They're flirting with each other, they're drunk and stuff. And then, you're, and then you feel disrespected. As well. Yeah, because you, cause you know your buddy Chad's a good looking dude too, right? And you're like, Ah, no, I got Jessica, it's all good. But then next thing you know, you see they're by the pool together, sitting there talk, having intimate conversations, drinking and stuff, and you're like, it's a fantastic for show. It's, for <laughs> entertainment purposes, it's fantastic. For the actual experiment of finding the love of your life without seeing them and proposing within 10 days, I don't know. 
So right? it's I'm not saying like it's impossible to like find that kind of love without seeing someone first, but 10 days is nothing, right? 10 days yeah. is like you're putting your best foot forward. You don't know what's going on. It's like any relationship. If you're in a relationship before, yeah. you know in 10 days, you're not going to really know who they are, right? No matter how much you yeah, talk in a freaking yeah. closed environments, right? So because Also like they start straight living up with living other, with someone. Like, yeah. Bro, so so, so that's, that's the thing. After, after the thing. engagement, they go on this little resort. Sometimes mm. they're fighting a ton on the resort right before they even leave. Rough. Once they leave, and some like there's a few, there's a, been at least two or three occurrences where they've at the resort and they've left. They broke off the engagement before they even left the resort. They're like only there resort for like two three days. They're like we can't do this, right? Wow. Yeah, but but most of them they make it off the resort, then they move into the same apartment together, and they have like three weeks to plan a wedding. And then at the wedding, they have to say in front of all their friends and family that they just told. They tell all their friends and family like three weeks of in hand time. I'm engaged, by the way, to someone I just met, and you need to come to my wedding, right? And at this wedding, in front of all these friends and family from both sides of the family, and three weeks later, you decide if you're gonna stay get married or not. And bro, if you know what the worst part is, and a yeah, lot of just, them say no like... at the altar, and it's all oh, filled. It yeah. sounds like they've yeah. put Go them ahead, in the saying? worst sort of like. Like the worst situation to even you know keep together a normal relationship. Do you know what I mean? In it, yeah. You're you're making <laughs> yeah. these people live together and plan a whole wedding. Yeah. Yep. In the space of like three weeks. Yeah, bruv. You do that yep. to any couple. Yeah, they're gonna break up. Do you know what I mean? In it. Yeah. Like yeah. that's that is. Well, I think a they set pressure. them up with like like wedding planners and stuff, and like they all have like a yeah, wedding no, dress bro. shop day and like a suit shop day where like all the guys yeah, that are bro, engaged and all the women that are engaged go together. They have like they have additional social events too where they meet up with other people that didn't make it off the show, like they didn't leave engaged. Because like you you worry about your buddy Chad, but what about? Yeah. Your other buddy Tom that also tried to propose to Jessica, she said no. He left with no one, right? So he's straight up single right now. He's in the O with Jessica <laughs> for the first time at this bar when everyone's Yo, coming back what? together while drunk, right? Two days before the wedding, right? And you got doubts already, and now she's flirting with Tom, nah, right? Bro. Who she just met for the first time. He's a good looking, <laughs> look, good looking chap too, right? So, you know, it's uh, yeah, it's That's wild. wild. Uh, honestly, looking back on it, there's only been like a few successful marriages. Like some of them get married and then they have like another offshoot of the season called After Alter where they meet up again a year or two later with the couples. What, and they're doing good? Some of them are. Some of them are, some of them aren't. Literally, in one, the, one of the previous ones, previous season, I think season two or three, it was three couples that were married. Hmm. And literally, while, while they were filming the show, before the, the, the episodes came out, the After Alter, like the reunion episodes came out, like all three of them, like, like broke off, or, or all three of them like broke off their engagements, or two of them, or something wow. like that. And like literally, no one was married after that. Like no one, none of the couples worked out. They literally, like, literally, they're showing these sweet moments of these married couple, couples that are like, yeah, we're gonna work through our problems, we're gonna be unstoppable together, and stuff like that. And the end credits come up, <laughs> and it's like a black screen with white letters, and like, unfortunately, both this couple and this couple divorced preceding the sh filming of this <laughs> episode but we wish them the best we thank them for their journey and we wish them the best or whatever i'm like dude this is that is terrible yeah oh, yeah man. amazing show though you should definitely watch it if you like some good content hey you throw it on when you gpl right like that gpl Maybe, will go yeah, by real yeah. quick yeah, especially yeah. if you want to make fun of milton <laughs> <laughs> anyway speaking of uh milton's elo in, in showdown <laughs> We gotta do an E low check right right, right now. Right, 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 so, right. what uh? You go first, so I know how much time I have to catch up. <laughs> Everyone is, tune uh... into the YouTube version. You're in for a treat. You're gonna see Anacor's <laughs> genuine reaction. Go, go, genuine go. reaction. I'm gonna show it to the camera and I'll say it for our audio listeners. This is where I'm at. I can't see that. Oh, oh, bruv. Now, nah, do you know what? Oh, no. Do you know what the worst part that. is? It's flipping Ultra League as well. Mr. Um, Mr. Human Calculator. <laughs> you know how many points that is to a legend, yeah, yeah, right? I can I'm calculate that. Yeah. 29 13. <laughs> oh, man. And yeah, you're right. It is Ultra to, League. And yeah. my team has been killing it. It's the same team I ran earlier this season when I was in Pittsburgh and stuff during yeah. the first rotation. Um, yeah, the team is uh, Verizion, Greedon, and Steelix. And it is destroying. I had one negative set yesterday, mm. and the negative set I lost. I think I lost three of the battles, 
two of my losses were to the mirror team. Because I posted this YouTube video a couple weeks ago, yeah, right? So yeah, people yeah. were catching on. I lost the mirror team because I lost CMP on that Verizion. <laughs> and it just made life so much harder. Yeah. Hey, oh. you know, it does suck to lose with your own team against a mirror team, but I do uh I do like that people are also picking the team up is good, too, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, the team is good. Yeah. Yeah, what's your ELO at now? Yeah, not gonna lie, yeah. I right, so <laughs> There's nothing live that people like, know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm at like 25.50. Yes, uh, 25.50? Yeah. I haven't, I didn't play like the entire weekend. Yeah. Um, And I wasn't, I wasn't too thingy about it. Yeah. Cause I was like, no, I just play a bit of Sunshine Cup and catch up in it. But yeah. You better play a lot of bit of Sunshine Cup. Yeah. Well, there's hey, a, watch. there's a, there's I a chance. Hope. I might I tank. Hope. I, got I might yeah. tank, and like I said, I'll be commentating for Peoria this upcoming weekend. When's, oh, is this weekend Go Battle Weekend as well? It is. It okay. is. I was just about to say that. So we got Go Battle Weekend. Okay. I'm. I'm. At, it's Monday, Anacor. It's Monday. <laughs> There's still like five days until this event. You don't think I'm going to hit Legend in five days at 2913 hey, on a team hey. I'm going to straight up <laughs> berserk on? Okay, a hundred. You'll have a hundred battles. Per uh, day, <laughs> both days, Saturday and Sunday. You have 200 okay. battles. In fact, that's going to be 200 battles I probably won't do because I'm at Peoria commentating, right? I'll be working. There's definitely no way, right? Um, but it is a nice event. Four times dust for win rewards. Um, 100 battles per day, of What's course. What's the active leagues? All, th all three open leagues. Great League, Ultra League, Master League. Pick okay. your poison, right? Yeah, run that trap uh -huh. and back. Run it back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, you'll go fifty-one and forty-nine on the day. Pretty good. <laughs> good dust. Yeah, Guaranteed man. rare XL uh, for. So if this if you use a premium track, right? Guaranteed mm. rare XL for trainers thirty-one and above on their second win, and the guaranteed rare candy for trainers thirty and below for their second win on the sets, and then increased Stardust rewards compared to the basic reward track, and then the order of premium track rewards will be rearranged. I don't know what that means, but. Anyway, so if you want to spend, if you want to grind rare XL candies if you're over level 31, not a bad way to do it. I think it's kind of pricey, but it's not a bad way to do it. Yeah, I guess um, some people might like tank too. They might just like win twice and lose the next three to make make it easier yeah. so that they ensure that they keep winning too. So it'd be terrible if you spend a premium rate pass and you don't even win like the, yeah, the rare true, candy, true, true, right? Yeah. So, um, but uh, yeah, it was like some ticket for the event too. Four times dust for win rewards, but that's about it. Mm -hmm. So. I mean, yeah. You better hope I don't hit Legend uh, before then, yeah. and you be climbing like a madman. <laughs> I, I got a lot of catching up to do. You but, do. Like I said, you I do. got hope, bruv. I got hope. Yeah, that's all you have at this point. <laughs> 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 you better hope my Wi-Fi and internet and phone breaks in the next couple of days. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm already making calls. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we shall see how that goes. We'll see, we shall we'll see how see. that goes. You know what? If any, if like, we'll probably have a definitive answer next episode. Next episode. Next couple we'll days. We'll have a definitive next answer episode. next episode. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. All right, yeah. cool, 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 cool. Yeah, you cool, got. Cool. I mean, you could definitely climb five hundred some points by next episode. That is very doable. I can, I can, I can. I didn't realize when I made this made the bet though. I'm talking to the. To Anacor, the guy that's never even made it on the GBL <laughs> leaderboard once in his life. <laughs> I'm like, my guy. Uh, man, yeah. <laughs> if you told me that and you told me you catch your Pokemon once every three hours, like, <laughs> man, I would have really been, I really, really would have amped up these punishments, right? I, I thought like there's a chance I was going to do that. I don't know what I was in for, right? Oh, yeah, man. So. Yeah. <laughs> You try to, you try, you got, you know, you did the, you, you, you approach the strategy the wrong way, right? Mm. You over, you oversold the, your, your qualifications. <laughs> I feel like you told me like, oh, I hit come back to London I'm up early, Bruv, early I, I I train a... the body and then I'm ready to train the mind. I'll be ready to go. Like you're going to be busy commenting stuff. I'm going to be fresh. Right. You know I got what? this yeah. amazing bed and everything. Right. I'm going to be dialed in. <laughs> it's this bed. Right. I'm going to be the one to give you your first loss on this podcast in months. Right. And you know, you know what my reaction was? Uh, Damn. He might be <laughs> he might be committed. And so you know what? My reaction wasn't like, oh, I might just lose then. No, I was like, 
I got to pick it up, right? I'm going to catch as much as I can at Pittsburgh, right? I'm going to grind every GBL set. I don't think – I think I maybe missed like one or two sets this season, but I've been hitting almost every set consistently, right? I'm barely sleeping in, in Pittsburgh because I'm GBLing till, <laughs> till the, you know, dawn. <laughs> Hey, do you know what? Sometimes, yeah, you have to commit to manifestation, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and then sometimes, sometimes I, you don't. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, Hey, you know like what? I was yeah. so speediest chief too. There's always mm. next season. <laughs> bruv, bruv, you don't even understand, yeah. If I don't make it this season, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's over for you next season, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, the revenge arc is strong, yeah. <laughs> yes, you know it's gonna it be it's gonna be a multi-episode yeah. series, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> everyone listening there is shaking in their boots, right? For me, <laughs> they're like, "Oh, I bet everyone listening is like, oh, Caleb, screw now, <laughs> just see, <you> wait." <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know. sound like some cartoon villain <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's let's clarify too the the mm. brisbane or like finishing first place at regional mm. that's not a real bet right that's not a yeah, bet yeah, thing. yeah, yeah that's yeah, just yeah, how i share yeah, the story yeah, yeah. i don't actually doubt that you can't win a regional i think you might have mm. a chance especially if you go to australia right <laughs> i mean this is, no hand on the australians <laughs> but there's just less people right like you can finish the tournament one day uh, right there's just less variance there's less battles yeah, right yeah, it's true, you just true. gotta be your cover fish right and not shield the <laughs> You gotta be your Kovic, you gotta be Battling Vish, you gotta be Fish Eye Heater, you gotta be Avrip. Actually, there are some pretty solid battlers too there that just yeah. never made it to worlds too. Um, like Trainer, Ace Trainer. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's, He's good. insane. Yeah. Uh, He's yeah, someone that has a... hit the GBL leaderboards too. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. So his, his Drake of his profile is probably pretty sick. Yeah, yeah. I'm going uh, I'm gonna take a look GBL at that players, one, but. Yeah. Um, so speaking of play Pokemon tournaments and stuff, mm-hmm. we got the T for this week. Not really mm-hmm. a big T, but it is an update. So speaking of, what are you sipping on? <laughs> <laughs> that was the T. <laughs> oh, that was the T? You're holding yeah, like yeah, a cigarette. Yeah. I was just like confused, was, right? Was, like, was, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, I always saw this secret. part. It looked yeah, like yeah, you're holding like, like a little, yeah. <laughs> like a little uh, joint. A little like, is that yeah. legal in the UK? <laughs> is it? No, I don't think it is, no. Um, anyway. Um, not promoting drugs or anything. I just so just confused by the course <laughs> movements. Uh, so speaking of the handbook and stuff updates, we have another update, and this actually came up earlier last week. Mm-hmm. It's we have the championship points required. Or, or sorry, not championship points. We have uh worlds, worlds invite, and like travel award, and like uh what do you call it, and and travel stipend stuff. Yeah. So. The ratings are the same. I don't like. There's some like other website. I forgot what it was. It was like Spanish version or something, or some some part of the website that said like you need a hundred less cha- uh, uh, championship points. But yeah. no, for sure it is five hundred for US and Canada, four hundred for Europe, three hundred for Latin America, three hundred for Ocean. Well, have they changed it on the the foreign websites as well? I I don't check the foreign websites, but I'm pretty oh, sure okay. this is still like the official yeah, language. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I there might be a typo on the yeah. trans translated foreign websites. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Um, but either way. Uh, Middle East and South Africa, 200. Um, so there are three different tiers now for Worlds, unlike last year. And this is more in line with VGC and TCG. Now, the, the why I recently said the T segment is a little bit bad news for Go players. And I've, I've said this in previous episodes, so I'm not surprised. And I, I, I don't really fault TPCI for this, but it is a luxury we no longer have. We're getting way less travel awards, right? Mm-hmm. But again, we were getting... We were definitely getting the good end of the stick compared to the other games, right? We had half of our competitors get travel work. That's crazy, right? <laughs> Way yeah, less. True, true. And championship points does increase the amount of people that could go to Worlds for them, but still, it was still percentualized significantly higher, right? I don't even know what the percentage was for them, but it was, it was like less than half of what we were getting mm-hmm. percentage wise. Maybe even maybe less than a quarter even. But anyway, there's three tiers. Tier one: Worlds invite and travel award. Pretty simple. You get full travel and everything. Tier two, worlds invite and travel stipend. And the tier three, worlds invite only. So that one obviously self-explanatory. So what is what is the stipend, right? Because that's probably a good one to kind of clarify. So the stipend, uh, so the travel award, let's just say travel award. Um, I think it's similar to last year. Uh, it's pre-tax. So we'll get taxed a little bit on this. And we talked, we talked about this with the EJB and Tomahawk episode, you know, mm-hmm. it's is definitely a uh, kick it. So, if you're out of region, 
So if you're anywhere outside the U.S., because it's in Hawaii this year, you get $3,500 U.S. dollars, USD, for 18 and above. Under 18, you get 5000 Reason why is because you need to cover travel expenses for at least one parent. Yeah. That includes your guardian's travel. And this is straight cash, right? If you don't choose to go to Worlds, you just keep it. You just pocket the cash. They just give you cash. You book your own flights. You book everything. And then in region, if you're from the United States, um, so so region is, I'm, I'm curious. It'd be the, NA, I think. Right? Is it NA? Yeah. So does that include yeah. Canada too? So, yeah, Canada, I, it should like, do an yeah. international flight, but I guess yeah. so. it's unfortunate, but I feel like it probably does. Yeah, it makes sense because for for worlds in London, it wasn't like only people from UK get in regions. Probably everyone from Europe, yeah, right, was in yeah, region. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it probably makes sense. So uh, assuming you're in NA, right, US or Canada, um, you get two thousand dollars or Mexico actually. I don't think so. Oh wait, well, but and, then again, yeah, we yeah, talked yeah, about yeah, this before, yeah, 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 yeah. Because the the region is US and Canada, not yeah, true, true, all true, of North true. America, yeah, right? That's true. Yeah, Latin America, I think, is including Mexico, mm-hmm. which makes sense because they, they just don't have any a lot of tournaments. They have like one yeah, qualifier yeah, exactly, at most, yeah. right? Um, and that's like, that is an international flight. I mean, Canada to US is an international flight, but it's like, feels less of an international flight. It's a little mm-hmm. bit cheaper, I think. Anyway, in region, uh, so if you're from US or Canada for this year for Go, 18 plus, you get $2,000. This is not even just Go, VGC and TG as well. And then if you're under 18, you get 2500 that's that. That's a that's a full on travel award. Now the travel stipend is different. Players who qualify for a travel stipend are eligible to receive one thousand USD pre tax paid after event. This is not by region or anything. It's just straight up one thousand. You get paid after event, and it's subject to attendance and completing at least one round of play in tournament. So you can't just be like it's not like they give you straight cash right away. Mm-hmm. They give it to you afterward, but only if you go, right? Gonna, if you choose not to go to Worlds, it's not going to give you this $1,000, right? So you have to book everything in advance anyway. You get the $1,000 to help, like, soften the, the expense costs afterward. We have to go. So obviously not as good as Travel Ward, but, you know, the Still Travel Ward is paid for. Yeah, I mean, Travel Ward is much harder to get. So now that we know the difference between Travel Ward and Travel Stipend, and Travel Stipend is obviously not as great, especially if you're out of, out of region. It's going to cost more anyway. So the $1,000 is not going to go as far, especially if you're getting taxed. Uh, one key important thing to note, I don't know why, but players from South Africa are not eligible for travel awards and travel stipends. I don't know why. It's a little unfortunate. I think it doesn't affect <laughs> our player base a ton, yeah. but there are definitely players from South Africa that play the game. So, you know, some of them, something yeah, to worry rip. about. Um, yeah, so there are, there just, there just aren't even, um, yeah, there just aren't even travel for East, stuff yeah. for Middle East and South Africa yeah. for whatever reason. Um, I don't know why I'm wondering tri- if they um they're kind of implying that they're getting an event by just even listing them here. So uh, you think so? Yeah, uh, unless they're just planning to roll out locals to them and that's it. So maybe that's. I don't know. Uh, it could be like a region stipulation thing. I don't know, but um, um oh. yeah, I can't speak on that. So here's how it lays out. Right, there's only a set amount of people that win travel awards and travel stipends from each region so you're in direct competition for tr- championship points with other people from your region right mm-hmm. and that's it just from your region so that's very important to know because there's a leaderboard by region you can sort by region or globally and sorting by region is going to be the most key factor because the thing is like if it's 500 championship points if you get it great if you don't get it like whatever there's you're not fighting for no travel award or anything right yeah. so the 500 championship points are like the bare minimum to to even be in contention for any of this stuff obviously right mm-hmm. no one's gonna like yeah there's yeah anyway um. So for U- U.S. and Canada, NA for Europe and for Latin America, it's all the same structure. The first through the eighth place players in championship points at the end of the season get guaranteed travel award. Just the top eight. So a sizable difference from last year, right? Last year we had over a hundred thirty something competitors qualify, and half of them got it. So over like sixty something people, over sixty five people. Got travel awards, yeah, like straight cash, away, right? Like, yeah, even yeah. yeah. So there would have, about fifty, about fifty people. Why? So you like take away like the Japanese players. Oh, um, and then everyone else. Did they not get any type of travel award? award? What was their What was their thing? I I don't know, but I assume just. I mean, it was in Japan, region, so it wasn't as yeah. bad. But they should have got something, right? Some type I of travel. I don't know if they would have given everything to all twenty. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's yeah. a lot. So. 
But I wonder if it was even half. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, that. Yeah. So maybe a, yeah. some something around that. A little still sixty years old. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot, right? Almost fifty yeah. percent. So first through eight. That's it. That's not a lot. And then the travel stipend, which obviously is the, you know, not as great, but still mm-hmm. something. Thousand dollars USC after the fact, but will be taxed. Ninth to twelfth. Mm-hmm. So that's four people. So eight people get the travel award. Four people get travel stipend. And that's it. You got 12 people in total from all those regions. Um, and then for Oceania, it's only top two. And then third and fourth uh, get the stipend. Top two get the travel award. So, I mean, yeah, Oceania is just smaller stuff too. Wait, did you figure out, are you an Oceania competitor now or what? Uh, I didn't do it. Um, honestly, I'm not going to lie, yeah, bruv. After looking at this, yeah. You about to be an Oceania competitor. <laughs> nah, do you know, honestly, I'm actually just going to leave it on Europe. Because this is, bruv, this is so unfair, though. Do you know what I mean? Because look, here's the thing, yeah. If I manage to hit uh, the higher end of championship points because I went to an international. Yeah, USC. Well, yeah, then it just doesn't feel fair on, like, the competitors from the actual region. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that, no, um, that's that's fair, yeah. And it's like, there's already so little opportunity. The thing is, is that like for Oceania in particular, right? They've got four regionals, possibly, wait, is it four regionals? One, two, three, re- three regionals? Uh, I don't know. Three regionals, yeah. Three regionals, possibly a fourth, but they haven't announced um, mm-hmm. if Sydney is going to be a regional or not, right? Yeah. So they literally, and, uh, you know, they haven't announced locals or anything like that. So... These lot have three opportunities, yeah. A bad placing in an IC is already more than, you know, like fighting a regional. Do you know what I mean? Isn't it? Yeah. You know? So it feels a bit unfair, and especially because uh, I don't know how um, how much it costs to go from Australia to Hawaii, but uh, <laughs> uh, you know I don't know. I mean? It could be a trip. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, Australia is pretty far by it, itself. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, do you know what I mean? Isn't it? Uh, okay, well, that's good of you. Yeah, I think that is the ethical approach for sure. I just wasn't yeah. sure what you're approaching. I didn't want to say anything until you said it. <laughs> yeah. But also, like, if yeah. you said, you're like, nah, man, I'm going for Oceania because that's an easy route. I'm going to break in these yeah. championship points from EUIC, maybe even come to New Orleans, right, for some double dipping on the IC, right? <laughs> really get those Draco Biz badges. If you yeah. were about to say all that stuff, I was going to be like, all right. No, when Nicholas. they come after you after this episode airs, I can't say nothing. <laughs> Just like Speedy Chief, he didn't shave his beard. Yeah, you, you reap the consequences. Yeah. You know they're coming after you. I can't say yeah. nothing, right? I can't stop. Now, do you know what? Yeah, like obviously, I'm still trying to qualify for worlds. Yeah, and the lower CP bar for qualification would have been cool, but it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. But money wise, again, me, I don't mind working for, um, you know, working to earn my plane ticket right as in you know doing like work work for money right yeah Um, but there may be people who are not in the situation to be able to do so or something like that so uh i don't want to rob their opportunity for for that that's a good approach yeah i mean the the you what you really need to work for is that world invitation too you gotta work on the championship points right (laughs) (laughs) you can work you can work real hard to be a spectator too but you you know like that's guaranteed if you get a spectator spot but you gotta (laughs) Yeah, also, Hawaii is not a big place, so their spectator tickets might be pretty limited as well on that one, mm. that front too, just like yeah. Japan. So, um, yeah, yeah, that can't but, be too uh, hard to navigate, though. Yeah, I mean, you're connected, right? Yeah. You know, like a thousand people, I'm sure someone will give you a ticket for that, right? Yeah, um, but yeah, so that's that. So, what is that in total? So. So you that, hey, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you want to even uh, leave this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 How, how many? How, right. Yeah, the human character. Let's see. So. <laughs> right. Put the phone down. Right? <laughs> okay, how many look, world's invites in, up, in yeah. total? Yeah. Okay, world's world's invites in total. That's a. Uh, that's something else to calculate, yeah? but okay. So what? travel <laughs> awards. Well, no, because then I have to count oh, sorry, how many sorry, regions sorry, sorry, there sorry, are. No, yeah, yeah. No, I, I misread yeah. it. I meant travel award. That's what I meant. Sorry, okay, sorry, sorry. so yeah, yeah. travel awards. Yeah, travel. There are twenty six. Yeah, okay. eh, eh, eh. and uh, stipends. So there are fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> it's fourteen, right? I'm not even looking at the screen. Yeah, yeah, going, yeah. From, yeah going from the calculator up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah the, so there the, you go. 
that not not so quick math. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did it. <laughs> the, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's the point. Yeah, but so yeah, we have huge, we have a lot less. Like no. half, half, half the amount. Yeah. Um of travel awards, yeah. And then the stipends. The thing is with the stipends, right? It's like uh you still kind of have to afford to to go there in the first place because you're not getting this money initially. You're getting it afterwards. So if you can't afford to actually go, then it's a bit pointless. Obviously, yeah. it's nice, yeah, but like arguably a bit Because you know what the other thing is as well, right? Is that like, well, if it was just a case of like recouping your money back after the event, you can sell your competitor pack. You can you know yeah. like buy stuff from the pokemon center and sell it yeah, do you know what i mean it, you know, like, bucks, right? like, don't so, sell it for five yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you can sell it for a good price yeah, yeah. and it won't be um, taxed <laughs> yeah yeah um uh, yeah and this is the other thing as well like i i mean again i don't know if there's a way of um uh getting past the tax depending on what country you're from yeah like i feel like there is a way but i feel like it might invo- involve uh knowledge of I don't know, like law or the tax system or something like that. I don't know in it, but um, with the standard tax, yeah, a thousand dollars is not a lot of money, bro. Yeah, it is like because how much they tax in like almost a third, so you're getting like maybe about six fifty at the end of it. Um, oh, yeah. And I, th- I think it's like roughly a third tax because uh, I think yeah. that's generally what the pattern's been. So six hundred and fifty dollars, yeah, in pounds, that's maybe like four five hundred pounds. That's going to get you half the way to The thing is, like, you're spending a lot of money traveling to these different tournaments to get the championship points. Yeah. The real question right now that we know the standard is, if you already qualify for Worlds, right? Like Z's Wireless, right, for example. Mm. Are you going to continue traveling to these tournaments to try to get the travel award? Or is it going to be just cheaper just to go straight there? I know he already bought his ticket for Toronto, so he's already committed to that one. Yeah. Um, but I mean, the thing is, if you do well, right? If you're like someone like Wadaj or like Hot Pocket or whatever, if you're doing well consistently top gutting, yeah, you're probably gonna make a lot of the money back from your travels just <laughs> just by winning, right? Yeah, so, yeah, so maybe it's worth it, right? Because yeah. for him, it's like it's he's getting more money on top. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know Wadaj was ready playing again the most championship points in the world, which yeah, he probably will. Way, be but, honest, I'm not gonna lie, yeah. Uh, you don't yeah. know about these Arizona tournaments, man. Wadaj better have some <laughs> locals. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, true, true, true. Um. Yeah. But yeah, let me let me see if. Uh, oh yeah, what's the what's yeah the what's thing what's the leaderboard situation? All right, so at number one is you, Pancho. Okay, who is this guy? Um, he was at because I saw that and I was like, he was at Fresno. But I almost faced so him, points? but he, I don't know. <laughs> um, what what's Drakovic got? Is he? Is yeah, he yeah, just this locals? is a, <laughs> Let's it. It must be just locals, right? How do you spell it? U pant and then C H O. Yeah. It's just okay, local, so right? This guy he, he was at Fresno last year. So many oh, he went to Pittsburgh. last year. He nearly top cut Fresno. Yeah. Yeah, he lost um, to Sofov. Otherwise I would have faced him in the winners' finals on day one. He lost yeah. to and then he lost to Elite right after that. How did he get so many points? It's it's gotta be locals. Yeah, but that's yeah, a lot of just locals. locals. Like I mean, yeah, you don't, yeah. Oh, I don't know yeah, what region he's from, though, but, yeah. um, insane. Yeah, the locals. Yeah, yeah, because he's only gone to Pittsburgh. He got twenty fifth yeah. there. Which and not that bad. Would have been but... like maybe like sixty points or something. Like yeah. That. yeah, he's like almost maxed out yeah. on locals. Mad. Yeah, I mean, look, nothing, no hate on you, Pantra, by any means, but I just like, I think the locals, like, it's like I don't know. I haven't mixed the thing is, it, it can work. It can work, but I think one. The fact that it's not worldwide is just unfair, but whatever. Um, well, but two, but you're competing with people within your region, so it's not a big yeah, deal I for know, this, but, right? Yeah. yeah. No, but you know what? I saw some Donny, um, <laughs> some Donny in EU region, yeah, who had a, um, and not not saying that this uh, applies to everyone in it, yeah, but I just found it interesting. There was some guy who's listed on the EU who had locals points. <laughs> what? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was how? Um, I, I I guess he played a local in the US and. Uh, Oh, but before Barcelona was out, there was someone on the EU leaderboard, which shouldn't oh, be well. possible. So yeah, no, I guess it's the um, only host in the region, but they're not forbidding people from participating. And then you yeah, can, yeah, you could t- you could do a vacation in the US. <laughs> I highly recommend you <laughs> yeah, vacation yeah. In Arizona if you're to vacation anywhere, right? If you want to hit up yeah, some locals, I mean, yeah. right? 
yeah. just a couple of weeks ago. You JJ, I'm going to show you the route. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll show you the grind. Um, <laughs> Championship but grind I think route. The, I think the other thing with locals is uh, it, it seems like it's being put down to the uh the like local communities to kind of ensure that it's happening and it's like running um yeah. you know uh frequently enough so uh it, it will like take a lot of um you know proactive initiative which yep. maybe some people aren't really doing or like maybe maybe some people aren't just like the kind of people to do you kind of have to have someone who's actually going to do all that in it so yeah. um the fact that it's not automatic Mm-hmm. maybe maybe limits uh certain regions right and also like what do you do like us is such a big place right there must be some places where you just got no locals like no local yeah. players who who really play or you just have locals. four and you just farm like a hundred like first or, place finishes constantly right or you do that yeah just yeah. like i don't know yeah it is what it is you know um but yeah we have you at the top we're dodge second 250 so he must have just like he won his pittsburgh and then must have won a local yeah. Like a fifty point local, Dijon the Jin at number three. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. he's been smacking locals, right? <laughs> Clearly, because oh, I know got, he, he didn't win the <laughs> Pittsburgh, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he got decently. At, uh, did he not get decently? At... Oh no, I'm pulling up his profile right now. I do remember <laughs> him competing there because I was confused. I was like, "Wait, you're competing? I didn't yeah. even know. I thought you were judging." Yo, I, I think he did pretty well. Um, uh, yeah, he came ninth at yeah, Pittsburgh, ninth, yeah, so that so would have been like yeah, he missed what, like hundred one, one away from missing top cut. Yeah. Okay, so a hun- maybe a hundred, maybe a hundred, yeah, a hundred max, yeah. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. He got one hundred and forty-two from locals. That's pretty good. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. How? Oh, shit. <laughs> How about time to go to one local. Yo, maybe you can come on in a future episode and give everyone a rundown. <laughs> I'm not even on here, probably. <laughs> What what oh, uh man. what's uh yeah yeah I, wait did you get any points from your, your I team? don't know I didn't even make the playoffs I don't think so there is not actually wait mm. let's see maybe I do U S and Canada yeah I don't know how many points I would have gotten though I have no idea go to the bottom I am <laughs> but it's not alphabetical <laughs> so I don't really know <laughs> I'm trying to see if there's any I don't know how many points I don't think I would have gotten points for it no. like I I didn't even make it to the playoffs and I think it was a 15 point local so. Um, um yeah i don't know but yeah there's just way too many people with 10 points even if yeah. somehow i had 10 points i probably wouldn't even show up on here yeah true true yeah i don't think there is oh wait no yeah you could oh, log in your account and see where you're at all right oh. easy peasy there you go. all right predictions on over or under five points <laughs> <laughs> i'm going for under <laughs> uh yeah i think that's probably a safe call yeah, no, I have none. <laughs> yeah, uh, you got the experience. That's what counts. The yeah, no, no data found. Mm. Just, which is fine. Yeah. Which is fine. But, but yeah, these travel awards looking kind of expensive to get. To get, yeah. <laughs> just to get, you know. Yeah. But you know, like, like a, like we said, it was just, it yeah. was bound to happen, and it is a, it one... is an expensive hobby. Yeah, one byproduct could potentially be, uh, and I don't know how many people are really going to fall under this category, right? But, you know, if you're qualifying early, then you, let's say you auto qualify early, right? Uh, You may be less worried about championship points because you have a whole year to kind of budget for Worlds. Um, Well, here's the other thing too. If you're like, especially with championship points, right? It is, I want to say it's like guaranteed, but like you could really like, almost guarantee your world's qualification if you really grind out these locals yeah, and yeah, these, yeah, yeah. these these regionals right and internationals yeah. so if you like if you already are dead set on going to worlds just buy your buy, you should just buy your plane ticket the moment it's announced anyway yeah, if, if you go for it right obviously if you have yeah, the yeah. income for it because even if you get the travel award the travel award doesn't hit your bank account until like a month or so before and then the flight tickets are going to be even more expensive mm. Yeah, 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 it's not worth it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that so cool. yeah, so, interesting yeah, so system. Just... But you know what? I think one thing is that uh, the fact that obviously the system changed at the beginning of the season, and then also you know we've just had a rule update which is changing you know the way tournaments are operating in the middle of the season. 
maybe maybe some of these things can be improved over the course of like the next year or, or two you know yeah um so yeah mm. after they see how how like successful or not successful this travel award system is yeah yeah well that does it let us know your thoughts um my guess is they won't be very positive but i mean there's no way right like we're definitely losing out <laughs> yeah, <laughs> as yeah, go yeah. players <laughs> to a degree but yeah, it is yeah. um the sad thing is know. is that it's, there may be consistent. some uh some champions who may not wake it to worlds so like potential a, champions yeah some people who've like won the tournament yeah have secured their invite but just maybe can't afford to make it to worlds right, so right right hopefully that doesn't happen but do you know what i mean in it yeah so i'll give you all a little context too because i feel like this is important like it does suck i guess like compared to last year mm-hmm. but vgc and their tournaments usually have like hundreds of people right yeah, 400 yeah. 500 right like they're like hitting their cap every single time mm-hmm. right like even when we don't like we didn't even hit our cap we're still like a fraction of theirs right and we could barely hit our caps yeah. for us and canada they only have 12 travel words as well oh that's yeah a lot. so they have even less percentage wise mm-hmm. than that's us compared to the player base europe apparently has 16 for whatever reason they may maybe they have more european players i don't know it's weird yeah um they could and uh... they only have eight for latin america vgc yeah that is unfortunate yeah Hey, so whatever they're doing in European v- uh, VGC, maybe they can. They probably just got a ton of people. <laughs> I don't know if that's <laughs> ideal or not. <laughs> like, yeah, we get uh, bump it up to sixteen <laughs> for Europe, and uh, if if the player base doubles, right, <laughs> your chances are probably worse. <laughs> no, but look, it's wild because Europe still have a lower um, championship point bar than the US in VGC as well. That's actually a good point. I I don't understand yeah, that. So now they're just about it. just giving loads of travel awards. Hmm. And it can't be like, I mean, you could say maybe it's because Worlds is in. No, but they have like out of region awards and like, otherwise we just get more Europeans for go too, right? For travel awards. I don't know. I don't really know the, I really don't know that one. That's, that's a math problem. I can't help you solve either, (laughs) but we can't figure out all of that. We tried, we tried. Yeah. Anyway, it was a fun episode. Be sure to check out your player profile at Mm -hmm. dracoviz.com. And, um, you made top cut twice in one season. <laughs> us, uh, well, you're gonna collect a little uh, us, um, little us two timers. Boy. Us two timers really got band together to get those double arrows on the bullseye, <laughs> right? We gotta we gotta advocate for if we don't advocate for ourselves, who will? All right. I'm speaking to you, skeptical tracer. I'm speaking to you, um, Dijon, the Jin. Oh yeah, yeah. You top cut twice. I'm speaking to you. Uh, Bivalicious. Lorenzo. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, Lorenzo. Lorenzo Liu. Yeah. Oh, he did. Um, I know he did a uh, Bokum. What? what, I, what I feel like he cut? did two tournaments and top cut them both. I'm speaking to you. A mind joke. Mm-hmm. These are top tier players. I'm naming Anacor. You don't think they're deserving? <laughs> hey, bro. Out of all of them, you're the only one who's asked so far. So. Hey, yeah, someone's yeah, got to be yeah. the charge, and you know, you know, I, I ain't shy away from that one. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, get get me a get me a petition, huh? <laughs> and uh, I'll consider your case. <laughs> all right, I'm about to tweet this yeah. out. <laughs> I got that Twitter blue. Yeah, it's going to okay. reach all the masses, right? <laughs> Let me yeah, know. Yeah. Comment down below <laughs> if you made top cut outside of worlds at least twice last season. <laughs> And if you'd like I'm, to have a batch. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Go for it. <laughs> what I got like tag? Your... What I got tag on this? Polly? <laughs> Adi? <laughs> Shiny? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. Make a whole petition, bro. Like, tag the whole, whole so yeah, Draco Viz staff. Really <laughs> yeah. yeah. If, if, uh, if, you're, if, you're, if your colleagues come back and be like, yo, why is Caleb causing a ruckus? We don't got time for this. <laughs> I clip this, this podcast for them, for you. Be like, and of yeah. course, edit. And of course, said I should go for it. Rav, I'll I'll hand drawn them myself. Yeah, I won't even. <laughs> I don't want your drawing. Yeah. <laughs> I just need I just need Paul to take away one arrow. How hard could it be? It's like what 
Dodge got five on his, right? You can barely even see it, right? I'm sure Axe five. got a bunch. I deserve yeah, two. Axel I don't want five. I just want two. <laughs> I'm not doing this again. I, don't pull this off again, right? And if I do, I I, I won't get a thing for it because I'm going to two regionals this year, maybe. Yeah, I, I yeah. doubt I go to the third. But... Axe and go to five. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it feels anyway. bad. Anyway. Uh, anyway, we'll we'll keep you all posted on uh when when Anacor eats this um hot pepper or hot chip. <laughs> There's one more week, yeah, bruv. The tables can turn. One more week? What do you mean? Uh, it's not like uh, if uh, you hit it by next week, we tie. <laughs> it's where it's the first. I'm about to hit it tomorrow. What do you mean one more week? <laughs> you, you better hope you have the biggest appearance of your life in the next 24 hours. That's all I'm about to say. You better wake up in, in a shiver, right, from nightmares of you eating this pepper. <laughs> anyway, I'll catch y'all next time. And, uh, Best of luck in Peoria if you're going to be there. Come say hi if you see me. Um, yeah, well, have a good one. Peace. Sick.